from the MDR Studios in Davenport, Iowa, Quad Cities. You're listening to Minor Disturbance Radio. About all things that rock. And some that suck. Minor Disturbance Radio, episode 86. Wow. 86? Yeah, we're hitting it hard. We're yeah. hitting it hard. We're 86. Who did we have last week? Um, uh, I don't know. Somebody Jose. Who was, who was imminently forgettable. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Jose was fun, man. He was a good time. No, I had a great time with it. Anybody that puts up with our bullshit and has a good time like that. Yeah, you know? exactly. He started sweating immediately, though. Oh, he yeah. did. It, and <laughs> it's not, you guys can attest, right? It's not that hot in here. No. It's comfortable, no, it's right? Comfortable. We're good. This yeah. dude was like, so what's up, man? And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He said he's got a thing for sweating. Anyway, episode 86, uh, we have a super, super cool band uh, in the studio with us. They, uh, you know, I, I've heard of this band you know probably about a year ago i'd say and i think you guys sent me some music and i listened to it and i was just like man there's no way that i could play that on the radio yeah which we <laughs> right? we should really talk about that we yeah we will we will yeah. but i have doppelganger in the studio <laughs> <laughs> with us right now uh so i don't know what camera angle this is but from left to the right we have the bass player kyle Hello. uh the drummer chris present and the guitar player alex Hello. coates yeah Nobody um, else gets last names. Well, <laughs> these guys are all just. <laughs> that's true. Unanimous artists. That's the name you're going to need to remember at the end of this. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> what, what made me decide that I had to have you guys on the podcast was uh, when I saw or heard, sorry, you sent me a song called Last Case Ontario. Right? Worst Case Ontario. I'm sorry. Worst Case it's Ontario. No worries. Worst Case Ontario. Excellent. And uh, <laughs> I listened to that a couple times through myself. And then when we were recording the radio show at 97X, I made him listen to some of it. Mm -hmm. And we both agreed that we were like, there's no way that we could play this on a radio show. Yeah. Not that it wasn't good music. It sure. was just, I don't know that people could sit through oh, yeah. Yeah. that. I don't know if I underestimate our listeners or or what, but I just knew that it would. It didn't that have might a, be part of it. It didn't have a vocal. <laughs> that might be part <laughs> of right? it. Right? So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure. Which, uh, okay, so, I mean, so are we gonna, if, we, uh, if we could jump into that, it's like... Mm -hmm. I think that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Why is it that a vocal is so damn important? Mm -hmm. Why is a vocal so damn important to? Well, you guys have vocals on other tunes. Yeah, yeah. See, I wasn't aware of that. I thought you guys were a totally instrumental band. So, well, so yeah. Well, I mean, we recently became instrumental. Um, you know, after I guess the EP and then uh, and then an album. Um, kind of, I guess we just ended up parting ways, uh, parting ways with our vocalist. Um, actually kyle's older brother kevin yeah. okay um but yeah um you know do you cool speak than louder than that, than that? <laughs> not really oh, no, no i'm asking no. are you are you just no. uncomfortable or no. or no this is about how quiet i usually That's good. right no i got yeah. the vibe man i mean okay. I, that seemed like about right yeah. all right yeah i'm yeah. just wondering what the l2 compressor is going to do to that if it's going to like is suck gonna, all yeah. the oh, like is you it can gonna hear my cat meowing upstairs too and shit yeah, is it gonna completely get rid of my voice then? No, 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 no. But the song you sent me with the vocals, it had yeah. a real uh, like death Which, metal. What did we send you with vocals? Was it? was it Spectrum? Was it? Who oh, yeah. sent it? Was it Chris? I probably sent it. Yeah, Which right. Song did you send? Well, whatever. When I heard it, I was like, okay, I could tell that the band's talented. Sure. Thank but you. It, that vocal that you had on there, I'm just not a fan of that type of vocal at all. The harsh vocals. Yeah, and everybody knows that. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, pretty, we've had many discussions about it. Yeah, sure. I was like, oh, you know what? These poor kids need me to sing for them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll come in yeah. there and do some metal screams and stuff. Anyway, yeah, it, just that new vocal. That's mm -hmm. you know, I hear a lot of bands that are really good musically, yeah, and sure. they sound killer. And then the vocals come in that way, and I, I just get. But, and you don't regard off. you don't regard that as like musical. But, like, yeah, you but don't I'm, think I'm it, old too. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, the kids might like that stuff. It, well, sure. You know. You know, harsh vocals aren't just, you know, for everybody, I guess. I mean, when I started listening to that kind of vocal style, it took me a little bit to get used to it. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, Kyle showed me probably, like, this band called Trivium when we were in, like, eighth grade. Yeah, I remember yeah. Trivium. And I loved their guitar and drums, and I just had to get used to the screaming. 
Yeah. And yeah. to be honest with you, after I listened to it for a long time, I started to love the screaming and how it yeah. sounds. Yeah, it does grow um, on you. Now, I, th- to put things in perspective, I felt that way about Metallica. Sure. When I first heard Metallica, yeah. I was like, oh my God, the riffs and the guitar and the drum. It's so amazing. But I don't know about the screamy sound and vocals. And yeah. he was singing, I mean, technically. <laughs> but it was still know? melodic. Yeah, it was That's still true. melodic. There's yeah. still a melody in there. When there's yeah. a vocal, it's just, yeah, rah, rah. Ah, I can't but tell are, what the but hell's th- happening. But there's like, there's the dude from uh, Meshuga, um, uh, Andre. Uh, what's his name? Do you know the, the lead singer? I forget his name. Um, oh man, I'm g- we're gonna, we're gonna get it for not but, knowing. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Uh, tri- trivium. Uh, uh, trivium. But, uh, trivia. Oh Jesus. Um, but he is, his way of doing harsh vocals is he spits out like steady state energy, mm-hmm. and it has a melodic content to it. You know. Yeah. So. Fuck I mean, that. <laughs> he's like James the hybrid, Labrie, baby. But he's like the go. hybrid strain. Hell yeah, man. But, uh, um, and, what about uh, the vocalist of Symphony X? I don't know. I, see, that's the thing. When I turned a certain age, I, I, I dropped off of checking out anything new. Yeah. You know, you go, you'll you go through a period, yeah. at least I did, where... Is it that or the music just hasn't gotten better? <laughs> I think the well, music got worse. Well, I think so, too. Yeah. yeah. I, I, well, I mean, if... Like, think about the scream... Well, the screaming stuff. Isn't it always like a gradual progression? Like first we're listening to Green Day for us, oh, and yeah. then it's Metallica, right. and then it's Megadeth, right. and then it's Testament, and then it's Exodus, right. and then it's Deicide, and then you're listening to Go Whore. Right, yeah. Right. yeah. Well, how old are you guys? Uh, how old? 24. You're 24? Yeah. 28. 28? And 23. 23. Yep. So you're the old man. Yeah. You're the old balls in the group. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're right about that. We do have a tendency to sort of walk ourselves through... Um, let's say uh paths of increasing intensity or of increasing novelty i mean that's that's kind of the way we have to work it because otherwise we'll be too shocked to go and really, too directly always, from one thing always to about another. pissing off your parents well we hope <laughs> well. that's true we hope that's true although it seems like at this point more young people are more conservative than old people at this oh, point definitely. i think that's the why the music has gotten yeah. worse I, mm. I think that's what's happened it's like all of all of the real and rage has been taken out programmed of it, you know? Yeah. yeah, well, you're you're yeah. kind of giving a blanket statement too. I mean, because if you, yeah. it, you, yeah. I've had, I've heard kind of newer bands that s- had that kind of old school rock sound, mm-hmm. and they were immediately labeled as dated well, or yeah. oh, it's old right. school rock. Yeah, what sure. if we put it this way? Like, there's definitely good bands coming out, making good music, and everything like that. But we're never gonna have a movement like Metallica's Black Album. We're never gonna yeah. have like we're never gonna have a movement like NSYNC. Britney Spears, Backstreet Boys, those people were fucking huge. Just well, the reason never yeah. I yeah. think the reason is is because there's there's no real uh, connection to the actual right. record. What about Pearl anymore? Jam when they I, came I out? think it's because the number of choices available at any given time make it so but that, that goes, whatever a person's yeah. momentary interests make it impossible. But that goes to hand in hand right. with that. All we hear is true. singles. We yeah. hear singles, yeah. and then we we maybe see some image imagery of the band, and we know that that's you know we we want to have a personal experience Connection. with it like go get it look right. at it and yeah. think that we're the only one Waiting falling in love with it part cold. of it yep. you know, i've said that before yeah. that's i mean that that i think does lend itself better to uh let's say the mythic proportions of music how it is that these these musicians and artistic creatures take up the role of mythical heroes in our minds and our lives i mean that right. that is yeah. also at the heart of what you're saying about why we won't have another britney spears why like the fact that justin bieber happened in a certain way was a bit of a like really mm-hmm. that was pretty late in the game to have somebody who became that popular and that was off youtube you know? pretty and much right yeah on yeah the other it was. side too yeah. like in the pop world there's a guy he's called the weekend chris loves the weekend i love the weekend <laughs> yeah but he sounds i think they're awesome too he yeah. sounds just like michael jackson yeah and probably the most rawest realist talent you will find that stays true to himself in this era and still not that fucking huge it won't be and it's depressing because when you hear him you're just like he's great so good where's yeah. this been yeah yeah it's so like good. what about yeah. 90s music. what about yeah. imagine dragons Fuck i haven't that. really checked them out you don't like it no I, yeah i used to be a fan of theirs um like early high get on that mic buddy yeah great. yeah i liked them great. early high school but i don't know i just haven't really got into it too much since then <laughs> put it in his face yeah you're gonna get some weird gifts. Out <laughs> of let, the, let the let the let uh, the mm. let the windscreen and your beard become one. Wrong they wrong kind wrong. of already are. It's in just high school, you just have to. Well, I thought they just came out like a year ago. Well, Fucking I think they World's started getting stuff on the radio. I have about a year no ago. idea. Yeah, long time. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I've heard the name, but I don't know what songs they have. So I'm yeah, not, they had I'm like sure. Radioactive. That was from oh, the album that I really liked. Sure. Um, yeah. 
I've heard that one. Yeah. Well, I have kids, and my daughter loves uh, a couple Imagine Dragons songs, mm-hmm, sure. and, I, and I listen to them, and I think yeah. it's pretty damn creative for yeah. two kids. Yeah. Sure. You know what I mean? They're selling out arenas. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, I didn't know yeah. there were two Yeah, piece. I didn't know there were two of them. Yeah. Iowa, yeah. Iowa boy Shane Johnson is their uh, over-the-road guitar tech. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, and he's been doing that for like two or three years. He's been everywhere with them. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's it's one of the few remaining kind of big gigs. Guitar oh, teching? Uh, well, maybe not <laughs> guitar teching. <laughs> maybe. But but no, I mean, uh, uh, Imagine Dragons being sure. on tour. There aren't a ton of rock bands that are filling arenas. Yeah. Days, yeah. You know? I mean, that's true. Yeah. Where are you guys from? I'm just from uh, Bendorf. Yeah. Yep. Really? Same here. Mic- what were you doing? One of you situation is just shit. Yeah, when we were talking earlier about uh, you guys coming, somebody on the group text said they had to come from Iowa City. Yeah, that was- he uh, Kyle lives in Iowa City. That's right me. Now. Um, yeah. Alex and I went to high school together. That's actually how we met. Okay. Um, we social studies together. Started talking about Metallica and in Bettendorf. Yep. Yeah. You went to yep. Bettendorf High School. Yep. Yeah. Cool. My daughter goes there. There okay. you go. It's good yeah. school. Yeah. yeah, yeah. School. The new, technically, the, still the newest member. Oh really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. We're gonna oldest guy, newest member. Yep. But everybody's always trying to find a decent drummer, though. Yes. Because like, if you don't That's have a decent true. drummer, what do you have? Well, they wanted me for a while, but I was busy. <laughs> <laughs> was no one's going to be able to hear that. I yeah. Was a, I was, I was uh, there. with a band from Italy. From Italy? Yeah. What well, band was that? Get, they're you? called Upon the Stoning. They okay. Were, they were like a metal band. And then before that, I was I fill in, or did fill in, for a band called Phineas, so, which is like a metal band from California. But how did you get that gig? Just the internet? No, actually. Um, so when I was growing up in high school, I was in a local band and. Um, the band disbanded and two of the members went out to California okay. and joined a band called Phineas, which is a Christian metalcore band, shred okay. band. You okay. would love them. Just fucking They're, guitar solos. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. just sweet. I think you'd probably what, dig their vocalist too. What they're oh, yeah? doing Because he is, does sing quite oh, yeah. a bit. It's mwah. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> it's a very Italian are, thing yeah. to do. <laughs> and the drums are, well, they're from California. Okay. So their drummer does a lot of mission work over in the Ukraine. Uh, so he would go, I would fill in, he would go, I would fill in. Uh, so we're doing a tour um, with this Italian band, it's their headlining tour. I see. Their drummer end up ends up getting tennis elbow like oh. a week into the tour, so they knew I was filling in. They're like, "Hey, can you learn our set? Do that." So I started off learning their set, and then they would have like an intermission, and then like the last part of their set. So after that intermission, I would take over so he could rest his. Arm. I see. But it got worse. So then I took over. Right. He went back to Italy. And then my obligations with Phineas were done. They had to go back home. They had other tours. I see. Their drummer came home. And then I just continued with the Italians. Cool. Okay, cool. so if there's people watching the podcast right now that aren't familiar with Doppelganger, I want to get right to yeah. showing yeah. what it yeah. is that uh, you guys yeah. are about. We're because we're talking about it like it's a thing and nobody fucking knows what it is. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. Sure. Uh, so I guess what I'll do right now is I'll play that drum playthrough video that you put up <clears throat> that's really what grabbed my attention do you think i should just play it all the way through and we should shut our fucking mouth I don't, what do you no i think we should talk should we, <laughs> comment, should we, commentate we should it? talk about yeah. my faces yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, this we- is doppelganger check this shit out Looks like it's got nice high ceilings in that room. Um, this is also Jose making me sound a lot better than how I really sound. Like. Okay. So what kinds of things did he do in order to spruce up? Nothing really. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, what I immediately notice is you're playing to the actual drum track. Yeah. Of the the, yeah, the recorded drum track. Yeah. Track. Yeah, when I come in and record, I know everything that I'm going to do down to a T. Right. Like, but what I love about it is 99.9% of every hit you're doing. Yeah. I can see you doing it. Like that little cymbal film. You know, you didn't you didn't just do it in the studio and program it and then go back and have to act like you knew how to play it. You played it. No, I, yeah, anything like, I basically go in, and I heard this from Lamb of God years ago where they go in and they record stuff that's... You know, above their capabilities, so it's like, why not do the same? Because it's also gonna make you better. Absolutely. So then I just do really cool shit, and I have to learn it. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a fucking monster of a riff. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. It's a monster. I mean, the first time I heard it, I was, I was like, oh boy, here we go, progressive metal, man. You know, and you're already behind the fucking eight ball. Yeah. Right. Yeah. See, if we did, I thought I was progressive when we just did like 
a three four time signature back in my day. You know. Yeah. yeah. Tell you what, this whole song's in four four. Yeah. Which is yeah, you know, that ain't too progressive, right? Okay, some of these kick drum blast beats though are just insane. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> you know? Now, is there any special uh, technique you're using, or is it just straight up downstroke uh, it's like, on the kick? Well, or like, you use heel toe at all? Or not heel toe, but it is yeah. like three different techniques. Because if it's like really slow, I'm using more of my um, calves and my right. legs. Yeah. Whereas it gets fast, then I'm using my ankles. Yeah, I can see that. You know. Yeah, I and can see you lifting heel- up your legs and stuff. And I definitely do it all heel up because, like, when I was learning double bass, I came up with like. Lars Ulrich, right? Yeah. Vinny Paul, and everything's just so powerful. It is, you know? yeah. So I Charlie want, Benani. you know, I want everything to, you want, to, I want to feel it. You yeah, know? absolutely. So like even when I'm doing something fast, you're gonna feel it. Yeah. And I practice that. Yeah, you don't want to cheat. Well, it just sounds weak. Yeah. Same with certain blast beat techniques. I mean, yeah. some of them, some of them, you can tell they are not delivering mm-hmm. full force. Yes, the, the head banging drummer. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it really Hold just on. depends. I actually want the. The people that are watching the podcast to hear some of this, so. Fucking nasty, yeah, dude. That is a ridiculous riff. Oh uh, yeah, we, we can take this off. Here. Um, that's definitely a two-handed technique, and oh, yeah. lots of tapping. Yeah. Uh, you know how I know it's cool is I have a, a, a business, and sometimes my people that I work with are down here, and I'm listening to stuff. Mm-hmm. That I get sent, and I just happened to play that drum through because I was trying to line up the audio and the video. For some reason, off of YouTube, it was off kilter. It was. Yeah, so it, we've it noticed was. that it's, it was pissing me it off. It had too. something to do with buffer. Apparently, yeah. if you let it buffer all the way through and then play it, it syncs up. But if you don't, I, I, it's some weird. I don't know yeah. what's going on. With I just played like the first maybe minute of it, mm-hmm. and he lifted his head up from his phone. I mean, it takes it takes a little <laughs> bit to lift your face up out of your phone. Sure, yeah. sure. And he was like. <laughs> Man, that that's oh, stomping! Wow. Hell yeah! And he's not impressed easily, no you know. Okay. Uh, so, well, thank you, buddy. And I was like, "Oh, that's a that's a band called Doppelganger." And he's like, "Oh, they are they local?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he's like, "No way, dude!" <laughs> not bad. So not bad. it's just the uh, the whole feel of that the progressive metal thing. I'd love it. It's like uh, it's a fix for me. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. still like st- straightforward rock too, but. In this area, you don't hear that kind of uh, talent all in the same place a lot. Sure. You know? And... Uh, I mean, the song definitely didn't start out like that. No? Like, that song, there's probably... Went through a lot of edits. Yeah. There's probably at least 10 or 12 edits. Yeah. Well, I was going to say... Song, switching looked, things back and forth. and. But even on the playthrough video... Took a year. I'm assu- <laughs> I'm, I, but on the playthrough video, I mean, I'm assuming that it was a single camera thing, and there yeah. were just multiple takes of you yeah. going yeah. through and doing... Yeah. the song so i mean yeah i thought about that too i was like yeah. what do they got two yeah. cameramen and they're like oh, Steve, you know trying know. to stay out of and each other's I'm way not, and stuff. I, seriously i'm not <laughs> trying to like impugn it on any moral right. level i mean i'm just saying that you know yeah. that it's that those things that are exciting to look at and exciting to hear mm-hmm. they aren't necessarily the most obvious truth about what it is that's happening right you know like and, and the way that uh, me and our videographer, he's a good friend of ours, Jake Will, like yeah. yeah, we like thing, to do yeah. just three takes. Cool. And it's you know him moving around the first take, uh, take this way, take that way. Right. And I wanted to, I at least like the fills the double bass stuff. That's why I have the kick drum. Like I want to, yeah. I want you to know that I play it because yeah. I bust my ass. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you yeah. Know? Yeah. Raising a kid, working. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh, you I have s- a kid. Yeah, I have a three year old mm-hmm. daughter. Oh. Awesome. And then I practice. You know, I try to practice every day. But you know? n- neither, in, nobody else in the band has no, kids or anything? No. Nope. Are you married then? No. No? But you have a kid that lives with you? Yeah. Okay. Like Changes things, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> Practices at night, early mornings. Yeah. But for first of all, for a uh, progressive metal band, you, you guys all know that it's almost impossible 
to make it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's right? definitely it's a definitely a self fulfilling thing, right? Absolutely. Yeah. You know. Um you know, I would say a lot of the satisfaction we get out of you know, doing this is just being able to write music together. You know, yeah. we love the stuff that we write and we love playing it with each other and, you know, getting people interested in this genre. Cause it's meant a lot to me since I was a kid. So. Yeah. And well, even, it's, uh, even there's a lot more avenues now for, I guess people that have like, you know, a good talent where now you can do lessons. Now you can do these videos. Right, now yeah. we can, um, help people write. Yeah. You know, you, there's just a lot more like that's true. just making it as a band. It's almost like you have to have different. that's like the that's our business card. Now, let's show you everything else we can. do. Right. Yeah. Right. But it's also like uh, and and we kind of were doing some stuff like that where, you know, people really do want to hear about like <laughs> Brian gets on my ass for being too nerdy. And I'll admit, like most of the people that listen to our podcast probably get a glazed you know look in their eye when mm-hmm. i start going off on you know seriously technical issues but you speak a different language I, it sure. is a di- no it yeah. literally is sure. a different language it's a technical language it's jargon but to the people that know what's going on with it it's like you could be delivering some profound thing that maybe they hadn't thought of right. that they're 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 they have the receptors in place in order to be able to receive that information but they hadn't Right. quite heard somebody say it yet and and so like it's like um it's the tech videos the tech review videos where you're talking mm-hmm. about your amps mm-hmm. talking about how you got certain things or when you get a new guitar yeah you know um you're you're seeing lots and lots of that stuff unboxing out there. videos yes. unboxing who the fuck would have thought <laughs> unboxing <laughs> it's what brilliant. you just bought is cool it's yeah. fucking brilliant no man. one would have thought that. don't open yep. it Let everybody everybody who else? <laughs> watching new stuff get opened you know it's like yeah. watching christmas it's so right like you're yeah. vicariously opening the gift exactly watching right right yeah my Kids Let's judge especially this love that. Item You're right. Yeah. Before. What's in the box? Yeah. Let's tear it down. <laughs> so let's get. I want to. Did you finish your thought? No, I was just gonna Jeez. say. You know, when you talk about the unboxing videos, it's just like somebody that's just like coming. Like, oh my god! <laughs> I know. Feel like, the oh, thickness of the cardboard and oh oh oh, oh, oh let me oh zip oh <laughs> yeah. that's me, so so. Uh, what, what are you fucking unboxing? No, have you ever seen any of those videos? People now, fucking let's just ask, out I don't. Shit. Did I don't. you come when you unboxed your guitar? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> was it like a nice little... Do, 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 mm-hmm. do, do, do. Or are we just talking about good one. Yeah. Packer tracks on the inside of your silk boxers? Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's tough what, call. What is it that made you want to play guitar? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess uh, when I was a kid, my uh, I stayed at my grandma's house a lot um, during, during the summers, and she had just some random acoustic guitar that I would kind of just fuck around on. And I started listening to like some rock bands I would hear on like Fuse TV. Yeah, Fuse. Um, like wow. Green Day was my first favorite band that I really got into. Um, and then I just asked like my parents for like an actual electric guitar for Christmas one year, and they got me a little. Uh, it's like a Lion Washburn thingy. Lion, dude. Yeah. Uh, a little got it from like Music Mart or something. I think they might have gotten it from maybe. I'm not sure, honestly. Yeah. I, I couldn't sell it. Uh, maybe Target or some, Target. something like yeah, that. Dude. But uh, came with a pack of Dedarios. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was like a little black Strat copy. Yeah, absolutely. That's the um, that's the yeah that's the special. And so I learned yeah. my Green Day riffs on there for a while, and uh, then I started taking guitar lessons. Um, Did you you mentioned that you took guitar lessons from Billy Gardner? Yeah, yeah. Um, was he the only guy that ever took you taught you know you took lessons from, or did you get lessons um, from anybody else? I first took lessons from Mike Minert. Mike Minert, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I, yeah. Where uh, at? Was it at Music Around? Because he taught I, there. I think it started at Music Around, and then he maybe moved to Griggs, and we did lessons there for a little bit. Okay, and then once he took me through like these three books, right? Like just reading music, and, right. and doing like nursery rhymes. He was all like, "Well, that's all I can show you. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> for like, as far as I'm gonna go, pretty much." And a buddy recommended Billy. Can you yeah, read music? Um, yeah, fairly. I mean, I'm not amazing by no. any means. I went, uh, I mean, recently um, finished up um, at Blackhawk, and I did music theory there for a year and uh, cool. got a music industry certificate. Yeah, I brought my cheat shirt. There you go. Just in case, you know. But I'll be honest, I'm definitely out of practice, so yeah. I am no Well, expert. see, when, when bands that are on MDR are progressive metal bands, there is a... a, a complete chance of 100% chance of nerding out. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I'm when okay you get this, this many 
<laughs> musicians in the same room. I feel like I'm less of a musician than maybe everybody else sitting in the room. Let's talk right about, now. Let's talk about harmonic minor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, please, well, please. Yeah, let's I talk had about a, that weird yeah, augmented. I had a harmonica when I was a minor. Yeah, oh, right, exactly. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, uh, well, I I come from a little different school. You know, I I knew my theory. Yeah, for the most that. part. Yeah. You know, I knew I knew early on in uh, my musical career that. Well, I I was wrong in thinking this, but I thought the more you know about theory and the more you know about actual music, the, the better sold. chance you have at making it. You know, yeah. sure. So, and all that really all- did was make me look smarter than most of the other dopes that I played with. <laughs> you know, you when I was like, I hit the third to that, and then I yeah. I felt cool because they're like, I don't even know what the third is, man. That's, wow, you know theory. Don't yeah. be just talking that theory shit. Is that like an eight? You mean like the second fret over here? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I use my ring finger? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> anyway, so I figured that, you know, that would make me somehow have a better chance at making it. Right, right. And then I found out that, it, and then that transition happened where, Nirvana hit and all this yeah. stuff, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. me knowing how to do any of that, or actually being yeah. able to be good at my instrument. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I couldn't find a gig. Yeah. It was like I had to just do my own shit because right. nobody would. They're like, "Oh, don't get, don't get minor. He's gonna do arpeggios and shit. He's just you know, gonna, he's gonna sweep gonna over the whole thing." Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, but now, I mean, that happened in the in the popular sphere, but it's easy. How easily we forget that, like, Nevermind and Cowboys from Hell. You know, came out within same, just same months year? of each other. Yeah, yeah, same year, right? Yeah, so I mean, yeah. there was definitely some undercurrent oh, yeah. of some badass guitar playing Hell going on. Yeah. But, uh, Kyle, you're, you're the bass player. Yeah, I saw a live video. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody recorded uh, at the sh- your show. Oh, oh the one on Sunday? Just, yeah, the the most recent one. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And <laughs> I'm thinking when I heard your song, I'm like, not everybody in this band could really do what's going on there, right? You're going to have a bass player standing there, just kind of like mm, <laughs> yeah. acting, he's holding down the root note, acting right. like he's playing. I mean, yeah. you do a lot of that, but man, yeah, he matches me for that. Yeah, tap, I that, saw it. A lot of that tapping. Yeah. I saw it. It was really, really cool, man. Yeah, thank you. So Appreciate you're it. you're a progressive player. Yeah, yeah. I attribute a lot of that to Alex because I would have plateaued a long time ago. <laughs> he um, just keeps making you do shit. To yeah, yeah. Never force you to learn stuff. Yeah, yeah the way yeah. we write with me being in Iowa City is he'll tab out a song and send me riffs and I'll try to learn it. And some of the times when he just sends me this riff, it's like, God damn it, Alex. You guys seem really grounded, <laughs> but but Chris is not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. So you're out with Doppelganger and you're doing your thing, and you know you're playing the music that you love, and somebody comes up to you, and you're like, "Hey, you know, uh, I got this gig for you. Uh, look, kid, you're really good. Uh, we got this gig. You want to play drums for Slaughter? No. Okay, I haven't told you how much you're going to make yet. You're going to make five hundred dollars a week, and you're going to. We're doing a European tour right now with this band, so you're going to see Europe. It's all paid for. Now, are you covering the cost? See, now he's thinking about it. Are you covering the cost of? (laughs) We're covering the cost of everything, including your drums, everything. It's all paid for, and your meals are paid for. Uh, and you get five hundred dollars a week. Paid for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, not all the time. <laughs> now, is it only five hundred dollars a week, or is there a? Is that just the per diem, or am I getting a bonus of what the tour makes? No, you make a salary of five hundred dollars a week, so you're getting yeah. two thousand dollars a month. Probably not. But we oh, have I, all the see, Bolivian cocaine and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Europe. I already did that. <laughs> <laughs> but have you been to Bolivia? <laughs> no. All right. My last tour was in Europe. That's cool, man. <laughs> all right. So Dream I'm, Theater. They need a new drummer. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I'd probably take that gig. Yeah, I mean, but, yeah. but that's in, completely fair. But in, <laughs> but in all reality, yeah. like I already did it. Like, you already played for Dream Theater. I mean, like the touring, the yeah. making the money, the tour bus, like traveling. I already did What'd that. You, did you like it? I did, and I didn't, because it's very taxing. You yeah. know, there's just a lot of politics. I mean, just a lot of bullshit that can come mm. with it. Yeah, and. You know, now I have a kid, I have an obligation. Mm. And honestly, the music I'm playing, I love doing it. It's very rewarding. Mm. It's technical. And this band, this band's, this band can definitely make it because, you know, the songs are awesome. <laughs> and they're not just, you know, technically awesome. They're written out, they're catchy, they have a hook. You're immediately like, all right, 
these guys know how to write songs and that's like that's the kicker right there you know are you not doing vocals anymore no we're, no. we're, we're working on an instrumental album right now that is awesome yeah. I, I think that that's it's tough to do i'll have a yeah. better chance of listening to that than <clears throat> with the the sure the whatever yell vocals what, are, what do you call them what are they called? The harsh vocals. The harsh harsh vocals. Yeah. Uh, and that's me, though. Yeah. Sure. They're very much an acquired taste. But I think the average listener, metal listener, I think that they really want a vocal on it. Yeah, well, yeah. that that's true. And that, what I was, you know, I didn't it's realize... It's a hard thing that you guys are doing. You know is. what I mean? It's that's difficult. What, I was going to bring that up, too. That's why oh, I yeah. wanted you to come yeah. on the podcast, because this yeah, is sure. where all, like, the freaks and outcasts come. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the real musicians, so, in a way, you know? Yeah. Because if, the radio show... I will say real quick, Garth Brooks, if you're looking for a drummer, I will yeah. accept your gig. I will accept your gig. Oh, okay. Everybody else can fuck off. <laughs> but before we, go on to, yeah, before we go on to the next thing, I, I told you guys that I'm like, I can't play this on 97X, right? I, and yeah, it's yeah. not because it sucks at all. It's just because it's it's longer, sure. there's no vocal, and I, I guess what I, I feel like they immediately need sugar or sweet or something that's going to, yeah. you know, oh, hell yeah, this is awesome. Sometimes right. people yeah. need to get hit in the face with some I, riffs. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> build, build some callus yeah. tissue, man. Yeah. Expand your horizons. When people listen to music, what they want is a story. Now, music oh, yeah. by itself can tell a story, mm -hmm. but there's something about the way words work on mm -hmm. people's minds that make it so that the telling of stories is a much more compact and recognizable psychological phenomenon. It's just a lot but what of, about movies? You know. What's that? What do you mean? Like, if there's no music, basically the soundtrack... Mm -hmm. Yeah. impacts the movie more than the right. words right but it's, well, a okay. certain well, it's more of a modulator you guys have something very difficult to do which is, is to yeah. tell yeah. an engaging story without verbal concepts yeah mm -hmm. otherwise it is challenging it's, yeah, it's tough to do man i think Honestly, they realize that there's a certain pride in that though too yeah i mean i remember walking around you know it, just like in high school when we wore this whatever patches we wanted on our denim jacket they said who we were you yeah. know and mine never had I, I thought that there were some metal bands, Judas Priest, right. one of them, you know, that were just kind of. I didn't. didn't I was more it. Maiden, Queens, yeah. you know, things things back in our day that were on the edge of progressive and, and pushing pushing the envelope. Right. You know, right. they weren't for the everyday consumer. Right, right. like and, I didn't and, like that stuff, and I could relate to that because sure. I wanted to be different. You know, I didn't want to be like the kids that are like, dude, man, I yeah, understand. Judas Priest, man, yeah, or. Right. Whatever, like Van somehow Hill, Judas Priest and ACDC AC were like in the same category as each other, and it's uh. like ah, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like yeah. get over here, listen to yeah. some Halloween, yeah. let's go. Okay, well, I got, I got, when did you discover <laughs> the deep Sabbath cuts? Though that's my question. Oh, I still haven't. You still haven't. Um, <laughs> but I, I mean, I like Sabbath. I'm, I'm just. I, you never listened to the other stuff like Volume Four or like sabbath play sabbath or those albums there's just something about ozzy osbourne that creeped me out no I, shit. I, I, yeah i mean i liked you it, bought but it. They you were brainwashed you you're watching yeah. somebody huh. that's special you know Church he's people, not a normal yeah. person yeah <laughs> you right. yeah. mean like you short know? bus special <laughs> right oh well it, but he man he wasn't Ozzy's but he still was around it and it's kind he of is. impressive it, it is, is kind super of impressive, impressive. Yeah. Yeah. but i his blood replaced every year in switzerland he's fucking he's immortal at this point he buys he buys tiny glands from sacrificed children in South America. Jeez. No, I don't Jesus know if that's Christ. true. He probably does. Can we talk about this? <laughs> that is so, confirmed. That's crazy how in like the 80s, 70s, 60s, there would just be a vocalist like Ozzy and then the bands just... Didn't matter. Yeah. yeah, the bands just didn't matter. That's so well, weird. That's kind goes, of. Like, but the guitar heroes goes. kind of changed did that, he, though. Tony he didn't Iommer. write the music, did he? Ozzy, no. Geezer I'm not Butler, very familiar. Uh, the, the bass player wrote the lyrics. Geezer Butler wrote most of the lyrics. Um, and almost all the music was written by Tony Iommi, the guitar player. Mm -hmm. I mean, and some of those riffs that are there, they are the genesis of everything well, right. we all play. Right. Absolutely. I mean, they really but are. But then yeah. Ozzy got the credit. Yeah. That's true. Because, because the, How? I mean, all of for the Tony, same reason. Because he bit that got fucking recognition bat. It's because he bit yeah. the fucking he bit bat from Iowa bat. Jam. Oh, yeah, man. exactly. And threw up. I almost, actually, well, didn't, we almost brought a mouse here. We yeah, caught a mouse. Yeah, yeah. Jakey e. Lee was talking about how he was swindled out of a bunch of money from oh, Ozzy. Yeah. Like oh, he yeah. wrote a bunch of stuff for probably him wasn't too. Ozzy. It's probably Sharon. Mm -hmm. She right. was the real shark. You know what though? You know I'm pissed at I'm pissed at Ozzy anyway. Yeah, fuck Ozzy. I'm pissed at Ozzy for one reason. Why is that? Ozzy. Well, first of all, look. Let's it, get Ozzy on here. Yeah. <laughs> Call him up. I, I lost a lot of respect. Fucking join us. I, I, I lost a lot of respect for him because. Yeah. You know, he goes out and he fucks his hair stylist or makeup artist or something like that and loses Sharon, right? And okay. to me, Sharon saved his ass. She She's did. A queen. Yeah, because she came in, showed him the way, and, and, and picked him up, picked up this sloppy ass, yep. stinky dude, and, yep. and made him, 
you know a household name mm-hmm. yeah she saw a way forward True. man she did you know that's just you know when you when you say that you you know all these guys are like ozzy ozzy they should be saying sharon that's <laughs> true yeah. that's the truth and if you don't want to face that then yeah. fine but that's who the real yeah. star is i definitely is sharon i totally agree you so know coming and then, from and an then, outsider you got this fuck up that keeps fucking up yeah here uh-huh. sharon uh-huh. yeah uh, here he goes again sharon yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's pretty like, much what it was man that's fucking depressing man. yeah and then he fucks it up yeah sharon if because if you need anybody he never was <laughs> okay. my and i will quote how's ozzy, he gonna survive now i will that's quote true. i will quote ozzy when you're stupid you do stupid things <laughs> he should have dressed Paul mccartney up. <laughs> oh, hello. Rat hello, mom. Yeah, no, well, they're, they're both the northern, uh, northern British people. So yeah, they have that kind of liberal. He does a horrible Aussie. Man. I don't ever they, want to hear yeah. you do that again. No, never gonna do it. <laughs> oh god, he, I almost tried to outdo it, but he did it so bad it would in, it would infest. <laughs> it, it would ruin my impression. Oh my god. <laughs> it is impressive that he still goes out and sings. I will say yeah. that. Yeah, well, for sure. I mean, there's <laughs> yes, one where he's just yeah. wearing like these blue spandex and no shirt and he's clapping with his stupid little oh, yeah. dick sticking out like yeah. run well sure he has to fuck with him somehow yeah, exactly. uh, <laughs> she had to be backstage <laughs> got laughing, you tonight motherfucker <laughs> laughing like the wicked witch of the west <laughs> yeah that guy that guy gave zero fucks man he's just out there in his little spandex pants yeah yep. i'm like at least you know mm. put some glitter like paul stanley mm. does around that area yeah. to take the attention away from the yeah, frightened turtle you know yeah. <laughs> Dude's, dude's yeah. like, it's hung like a stop sign. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, which reminds me, which reminds me, Mark Dettel put up a picture of uh, one of my favorite guitar players. You guys don't know Mark Dettel, probably. Well, maybe he's. I think I saw him at work today. He's. Oh, you yeah. work with him? Uh, no, I mean, I think he was a customer. At work oh, okay, today. cool. <laughs> well, anyway, he put up this picture of Ace Frehley. I wish I could find it, uh, but <laughs> it's him in his. I've never heard of Ace Frehley. Can you uh, bring me up? To <laughs> Ace Frehley. Who is this guy? It's, yeah. Okay, so he's standing there, and apparently this dude has you got. Don't get an explanation. I got. I got to put. The, I got to find the fucking picture. Okay. Can, can you see this picture? <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, yeah. Let me come so, around. All right. Can, 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 you, can you see this there. picture? Yeah. <laughs> get your dick over there and check it out. Yeah. Uh, leaving not a whole lot to the imagination. Jesus. No. Yeah. No. Well, there's another oh, so one. So I see you're a gentile. <laughs> <laughs> but. Okay, so we've seen it. Now, Mark oh. Duddle put that picture up. Or one very similar to it. Yeah. Um, and, <laughs> and I was like, so are we going to not talk about the elephant trunk in the room? <laughs> oh, my God. That's pretty good. You know, because everybody's like, cool picture, man. Yeah, man. And I know that everybody sees that. You, you yeah. know, I guess I, I'm a self. I'll admit it. Yeah. I'm a pecker checker. All right. Yeah. So if you're going to wear spandex pants, I'm going to be like. You got to be equipped for those pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't. Even my wife, when we're watching NFL football, and they don't wear cups anymore, right? <laughs> and you get a receiver running back to the huddle, and you're like, dude, you know what I mean? Is that a ferret? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I might have a pecker story for you. All right, right all right. Okay. So I'm playing in San, or San Francisco at this place called the DNA Lounge. I don't the okay. DNA I don't Lounge has two different going. venues. Okay. It has a smaller venue and a bigger venue. Mm. We're playing the smaller venue. Show gets done. We go outside. We're unloading. There just happens to be tons of Italians everywhere. So my guys naturally start talking right, to them. They're sure. like, what's going on? Come to find out there is a Italian rock star, almost equivalent to Bruce Springsteen, playing in the bigger room. Oh. So we go watch him. This motherfucker <laughs> is wearing the tightest <laughs> pants. And he is just strutting this fucking long <laughs> Giant. <around. Just> <laughs> and I mean, you're not even paying attention to the music. Right. You're just like, is that Hypnotized. a third leg? Exactly, yeah. dude. You know what? And people look at me all crazy when I'm like, look, look at that thing. And then got, He did it for a reason. Yeah. And I looked. Sure. I'm sure. There's yeah, several, he got your attention. There's several people in my life that I've been like, dude, you don't see that? And they're like, I don't even. What are you talking about? I don't even look. Man, what are you talking yeah, about? You're, yeah. they look that's they gross. Like you're that's a pecker checker. And I'm like. Yeah. Man, I am. You know what I mean? And uh, <clears throat> it, it, not that I'm like enjoying it. It's just yeah. like, Jesus yeah. Christ, you're giving these girls false fucking, you know, yeah. what are you doing? Put that's, that somewhere. Put a amazing. cup on. That's amazing. You know, what is that thing? Yeah. And yeah. then the punter comes out. You yeah. know, and I'm like, new finally. You know? Hashtag hydrococ. <laughs> yeah. Right. Has, hashtag, oh, it's hashtag snake charmer. <laughs> ah, there it is. Little harmonic minor oboe solo. Got yeah. Na, 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 na. <laughs> that, that was the bookend right there. Yep. Yeah. For most humans when you're about to do something athletic or or something that uh takes a lot of concentration that part of your body kind of gets out of the way you know what i mean it, it's yeah. programmed to kind of like okay I'm, I'm not needed right now right we're about right. to play football and there's no pussy 
anywhere right. on this field. Right? Okay, I'll just be gone. And I'm thinking that's like as gone as theirs is going to be, you right. know. <laughs> like, right. And I'm like, what? it's a cold day. Yeah, yeah. my wife yeah. don't need yeah. to be seeing that shit. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there are yeah, children in the room. <laughs> she should. Even unreal expectations of what's out there. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So, but the, see, that's the thing. I think that that's why bands stop wearing spandex. They stop doing the whole '80s look, is because they're like, you know what? This is a little too all the, revealing. Because of all the pecker checkers out yeah. there. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah it could be. See, so we talked. So new about Brian those. was in the audience. We going. believe in the '80s. Nobody actually had sex. <laughs> it's all just a conspiracy. Yeah. It's all a conspiracy. <laughs> conspiracy yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No <laughs> that's why sex the was had. The girls were all around because they felt safe. Yep. Nobody was going to hit exactly on them. Right. Yeah. Yep. No am I am I wrong for that? I mean, I feel I, I know when I edit this, I'm going to be like, man, I should probably just cut that whole part out. You know, because I don't need everybody like. Good episode, Pecker Checker. Yeah, yeah. Yep. talked about penises for one third of the podcast. Yeah, just trim the end of it. Um, That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, in Paul's book and Gene's book, they talk about how Paul or Ace and uh, Peter used to compete to see who had the bigger dick. Okay. I mean, it's in, this, in so their book. Get sure. their dicks out. They would just get them out. Like get you'd the be sitting there out. talking right now, and he'd come up behind, just laid on yeah. your shoulder, and. Yeah. Who can wait? They would have competitions <laughs> to see who can have the bigger dick, is what? Yeah. Limp. Oh, Limp. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. It's like, yeah. did they, how did they? That's because there's some actual variance in a flaccid state. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's the thing, man. If you yeah. just got to have pool. dick growing competitions, it's like, how do <laughs> they exceed their limit? I don't know. That'd, that'd be interesting. <laughs> Maybe they time it. Get a little fucking switch stop, stopwatch, you know? What made you want to start playing drums, Chris? Get in that mic. Did you hear the brake squeal right there? Spandex. Spandex. When I tell you. You're not going to believe me. I All right. Even, I don't even know. Garth Brooks and yep. Michael Jackson. Yep. Ooh. They were played a lot of my household. Um, the drums always got me. I was fortunate enough to see Garth when I was younger. My awesome. mom took me. And then Where at? Uh, it was like Ames, Des Moines. Okay. Okay. You know, that yeah. kind of place. And the drums were always very like Hilton. very like eighties setup. Well they you know, did. Like Garth yeah. brought like a whole big stage. He production. wanted to be a rocker. That he was did. the whole thing. He, he wanted to put on a rock show essentially. He did. Yeah. So I was always attracted to that and then got a drum set. Unfortunately, parents split, so that kind of went away. And then uh, my freshman year, I got a drum set and started playing and then got lessons, cool. went to school. Now, did you play drum in the No, in, uh, they wouldn't let uh, me because I band? didn't read music. Oh, okay. But I fucking showed them. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that, look, that video we watched of uh, the Doppelganger song, Worst case last case worst, worst case, case ontario worst case ontario it's a trailer park boys reference yeah. oh, okay is that what it is because i was going to ask you yeah. what that was Big fans. But, yeah, okay. yeah 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 great show them blast okay. beats you're doing split them up yeah are them quantized are them fixed can you do no. that live yeah. i can do that live okay just like that they've seen it yeah it looks just about the same because the video i saw of course is on a phone and the kick drum you can't i'm listening for i'm like okay yeah it's tough to hear i, uh, you know, I learned it from a friend of mine who plays a, he's a drummer in russia and just to cause, just to split them up to you know get on the mic, bud. Oh, just to split them up to um, almost keeping your energy because I mean just doing it one hand, yeah, it's really taxing. So to yeah. split them up is one, it right. looks cooler, yeah, and it's easier. Keeps the yeah. energy, yeah, flowing. right. That's right. kind of interesting, right? Because then you can use sort of an alternation rather than yeah. having to do everything straight up. You know, I, I've always said this. I'm I'm a guitar player and a singer. I, I started out on drums when I was a small kid, and then my mom realized that that's just going to be too fucking loud. Right. <laughs> yeah. There's no way to turn it down. We didn't have electronic drums at the time, right. and I just had you know I had a kick, a snare, and like a sizzle cymbal, and I just rode that bitch. Just, oh, God, you know, yeah. it was just loud. Right. And mom was like, "Yeah, let's try the guitar." So I went to the guitar. <laughs> um, so there's this drummer still in me that it, you know when I see dudes like you, yeah. I'm I'm just fascinated with it because. The way that drummers are now, and I've said this before, like it's fucking scary how it good scary. Yeah. The, the new class of drummers are. I mean, they're doing things that uh, are way beyond anything that I thought yeah. was possible or real uh, when I was coming up, you know? And right. it's just amazing that you got yourself to that level. I mean, that, that takes a lot of practice, a lot of dedication, and uh, no chicks, right? <laughs> it might have been some chicks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, see, but if you had chicks, Brian you wouldn't have got that my good. Teacher, there might have been chicks. Oh, yeah. okay. Brian. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. He's an awesome drummer too. He's Renat. Fucking, yeah. He's yeah. the man. Yeah. I owe Brian everything West. to him. To Brian yeah. West. Yeah. He's what other drummers guy. around here do you kind of? Um, well, when I started, went to Brian, and I still kind of go to Brian. He's kind of been my mentor mm -hmm. and everything throughout everything. And then I still I go to John Latson every now and again. He's oh, like a he's a funk drummer. And then uh, Terry Hansen, who oh, was yeah, more Terry. of a jazz drummer. Yeah, when yeah. I went to which Terry studied with uh, Louis Belson. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so Mike, I covered kind of groove, metal, and technical stuff, and cool. then you know jazz and improvising. Got it. Yeah. Awesome. But are there any other local bands that you guys pay attention to around here? I mean, Chronos Resistor, absolutely. Sure. Um, yeah, I would figure that. Yeah. yeah. And that's Steve Merritt. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Merritt. Yeah, Steve Merritt's yeah. awesome. Yeah, he's very yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about like Three Years Hollow? Yeah. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, absolutely. Well, see, because I mean, say Chris kind of hooked us up with Jose there. Yeah. Well, Chris is a great drummer. The Cushman's. He is. You know, he, very he's tasty. Sure, he's awesome. Um, I haven't heard him do what you're doing. Right. And I know that he can't. I, I mean, I've never heard him do it. You know that he could. I, pr- maybe he, he may I, not have had been in a band well, situation where he had somebody to elevate him to that. Because I mean, that's a thing. It's like I don't know that unless you've got a real target to aim at, you really find yeah. it necessary to do it. You know, that's part of the reason why I kind of stopped. Well, you have to write for the song. That's the deal. And so I had. I, that's kind of why I stopped practicing lead guitar all the times because the stuff that I'm writing has nothing to do with it. So sure. why sit and spend all that time on it when right. I could be ruminating on something? Hard. What you do on the drums, I can only do on my teeth. <laughs> and I don't, do you know what That's I'm talking impressive. about when I say that? You what? play on your teeth, dude. I play on my teeth. I have an entire 22 piece <laughs> drum set in my mouth. Soon to be 21 piece because he doesn't brush. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, called out. I mean, I can I can do all of that. It, I could probably play any Dream Theater all the way through on my teeth. Right. And, yeah, and if yeah. people don't understand what I'm talking about, like yeah. there's New a or old Dream Theater. Like I can only hear it in my head. You know, like when I do my molars, it's like a kick. It's like don't we talk about Portnoy or Mangini? Yeah, Portnoy or Mangini. <laughs> uh, Portnoy. There you go. Portnoy. So how do you feel about Mangini? I, I, so I love Mangini, and a lot of my practice I methods too. I got from Brian, who he got from Mangini. Mangini yeah. But the guy, I mean, he's so fucking good. Yeah. Man Genie is a fucking monster. He is monstrous. And, they compli- and he uh, compliments the van very, very well. Because now they can do everything that they wanted to. But fuck, Mike made the music feel good. Yeah. He had the right feels for the right part. <laughs> See, now you, now asked, I know you exactly asked what you mean. You asked the question and yeah. then you answered it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is fine. That's true. Because I, <laughs> no, I totally agree with you. That's what I usually do. It's like, like, I ask a question like, and then I, answer it first and then tell you what you're supposed to say. <laughs> and then, you know, the it's right like answer is this. progressive music for the first time because when you first hear it, you don't understand it. You Look, man, to it, right? you get it. Here's the only, this is the way I described you guys when I first was trying to introduce the, the band Doppelganger. You know, my job is to bring local bands into, yeah. uh, so that people can hear them. Mm-hmm. And when you guys came onto this, into my, uh, you know, right into on. my view. Yeah, sure. The only way that I could really describe it was like a local dream theater. Sure, man. What's With that? Portnoy. Portnoy. With Portnoy. <laughs> 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 like, a, like a local dream theater type of band. You well, know, thank you, man. That, everybody that's, that's of my age yeah, yeah. knows. Yeah, that is a huge compliment. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Well, you just you need an old singer like me. <laughs> I see what you're getting <laughs> out. I see what you're trying to put a song that sound like that. I don't sound like that. Can I, see your I game. play you know, with madness? Like I hate, <laughs> I hate Travis sometimes because he does not sound like that. I, that's the way he sounds to me, dude. It sounds like he's got big, nasty, out of tune, fucking vibrato. Blech. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I hate it. Damn, you hate. Always that? have. Oh my god. I always have from the time I was a little kid. Didn't like it. Mm. See, you can't. Not. It's an eighty twenty thing. You, you love somebody for the eighty percent that they bring, right? Yeah. And you can't hate them for the twenty percent that you hate <laughs> about them like that. Yeah. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah, that's all you can do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, what, yeah. what is wrong with that vibrato? It sounds non use It sounds out of tune to my ears, man. Mm-hmm. It just always has. I always thought it was like theatrical. Almost. Yeah, it is yeah. theatrical. I yeah, mean, I, I guess it fits that. their name. Yeah, but and, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and I know there's room for if when it's there being all the time. Yeah, it can get a little bit redundant. That's, that was what it was. Like, from the time I was a really little kid, I knew I did not like that sound. I can and understand it getting a little bit much after a while. I suppose. Yeah. The, I well, mean, so does. I mean, the first, yeah, 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 man. Anything. Yeah, fuck, yeah, man. Literally any type of. I'm with you there, man. I mean. But he I, also steps away for a lot of it. Too. Oh yeah, I mean, you know? he'll disappear. I mean, he'll I, disappear. Yeah. yeah. Are you, are we talking about uh, James Labrie or Maiden? Yeah, James uh, Labrie. He's yeah. talking about Maiden. I'm talking about oh. Maiden. I'm completely off. But I yeah, want to yeah. talk about. James I saw them both on the same yeah. show once. Which which I can tell like he is out of that same kind of tradition. Although I found him to be a lot less, uh, you know, uh, sonically reprehensible. Uh, okay. And I feel the same way about Jeff Tate from Queensryche, you know, I, I liked the way those guys sounded with it better than Bruce Dickinson. Well, not every sure. note had the vibrato immediately. Yeah. Uh, Maiden might have done that. I still love Maiden, though. Yeah. No, fuck you. But <laughs> what Dream Theater did with the vibrato was he would hit a clean note and then he would wait until the last minute to get that vibrato moving with yeah. the delays and everything and it was it, it was the period at the end of the sentence. It almost gave me tension 
to, until he did it, and I was satisfied when I finally heard it because mm-hmm. yeah. huh. it was beautiful the sure. way that uh, he did that. Yeah. Uh, I loved Dream Theater. The thing is, is you know, like I was saying, people my age, that was the first. You know, there was Rush already, and there was all these the bands that were already known. Kansas, R- sure, all Boston. the Boston. <laughs> All the progressive bands from then, from then. Uh, but when Dream Theater hit the scene, it just it just left a mark, man. Yeah. yeah, Portnoy and Pertucci and James Labrie and I don't know that Chinese bass player and then uh, John Mayon. John, John Mayon. Yeah. Mayon. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. He, and he <laughs> like a twenty-two fret or a twenty-two string bass, whatever he had. <laughs> See, it's funny but to bring you, up uh, Dream Theater. Uh, Alex and I, one of the first shows we played together live. Um, it was like sophomore year of high school, and we played we Glasgow did. Kiss from yeah, we did a John Pertucci uh, solo cool. and stuff. And <laughs> yeah, you know, that video's still out there. If you oh, awesome! It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. High school I remember show somewhere. Right there. Yeah, right there. It's, it's been all downhill since then. Absolutely. Man. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, we did the Trooper one year for yeah, the talent show too. That was our first one, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. eighth grade. We were talking about Dream Theater, and mm. it, and I kind of wanted to touch on that because. You guys, that affected you, and it had to have, because you were yeah. talking about playing the Green Day tunes, and there had to be, had, there had to be something that really opened the door. Yeah. yeah, train of thought. Yeah, was that it? Yeah. Well, for me, it was images and words. It was right off, you know, the gate. Yeah. That drum sound by itself, yeah. nobody Just, could do it. You know, yeah. that was the first time you heard them kind of drums. At least it was for that me. Fucking intro of as I am. Bow, down, down. It is so sick. So fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing it with you on my teeth. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I was teeth, 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 but teeth dancing. <laughs> See what happens? See, this is what happens. Yeah. Sick, this is what happens. Yeah. But I, and, it, and it intrigued me to the point where I wanted to start trying to write stuff that was. Yeah. like that and yeah. then i didn't know that that was gonna veer me off of my uh path to success because once you go that way the audiences diminish yeah, <laughs> it's you true. find yourself in a niche pretty quick yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely but the people that do find you are in love with you forever yeah. you know what i mean but yeah. there's a there's a lot to compete with That's you know true. like That's if i want true. if i wanted them to fall in love with my version of that i'd have to get a lot fucking better sure, you know what i'm saying sure. yeah. because there's a ba- there's bands out there that will just fucking melt your face off somebody. yeah i guess yeah. the thing about being in a niche genre is just like you know it's it is hard to get out there to a large audience but the small audience like i said that that does kind of eventually gravitate towards your music mm. sticks with you yeah for sure you know no matter what it is that you put what out. are you guys doing up there at the attic are you doing a full length yeah. we're gonna be yeah yep. um we are currently working on a second single to put out um and then we're gonna finish up writing the album and just record the whole thing yeah. cool. well how do, okay so when you go to write songs like this i've always wondered this about yeah progressive style bands um I, i've always wanted to be in like dream theater's rehearsal room and see how they put yeah. the yeah. songs together yeah it's fascinating you know how they remember that okay because you yeah. you could do it once at practice and then think like remember what we did I don't, just yeah, to I orchestrate that, yeah. something like that yep there has to be some charting there has to be some notes being yeah. made there has to be all that stuff so what's it like for you guys it, it, i mean what happens a riff comes in what happens yeah i mean so I guess for writing, it usually like starts with me writing just some riffs and just kind of putting stuff together, recording stuff on my computer so I don't forget them, and then kind of just programming some drums to them, and then I'll kind of get some basic rough idea of what I want, you know, for riffs. Maybe put some layers on it later with leads and stuff. Whatever I'm happy with, I'll send it to yeah. these guys, and then Chris will learn the drums. I'll send the tabs to Kyle, like he said. First thing that I write is usually the rough draft, and then okay. we get, yeah. we'll kind of put our heads together and you know perfect everything. Uh, mm-hmm. Adds layer, add layers. So you have there. the the way the song's kind of laid out already, kind of imagined. I mean, sometimes, uh, a lot of times, I'll just write a couple riffs and, and kind of just let it go from they there. Can change so yeah, they can change so much. Yeah, the songs. I mean, worst case Ontario, that song. I mean. It didn't even have like the fast drums in the beginning. Mm. Yeah, it had some sort of. It wasn't even that riff. Yeah. Actually, in the big, I think we changed. Some I think it's the order. Was it the second and the third riff that we switched around? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of. Because in practicing, we found that like 
the what originally was the third riff the breakdown came in a lot harder off of the the chorus riff if you will. Right. so it's like yeah. okay what if we put that immediately after yeah. rather than building into it right which yeah. it took a year to write. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and you don't really find out these things until you're jamming it and it's like you know what like yeah. it would have yeah. it'd mean so much more if we wrote it this way instead right, yeah. right. Well, um, how do you guys uh, how many songs do you guys have uh, right now we have like six finished and we're probably going to do like eight for the record. Yeah. I would say. How long are they in general? They're roughly like each four minutes, four yeah, and a half okay. minutes. So, relatively so. Short, so how do you guys play good. a live set then? What do you do to fill in the, um, our live set is like six songs or so. We got three, mm-hmm. we are playing three new ones. One of them is worst case Ontario. Two of them are, you know, we haven't released them yet. Uh, three mm-hmm. of them are from our last album, album with uh, that had vocals we're just playing instrumental versions of them cool and uh i'd yeah. prefer that sure um and then we just have <laughs> we, we got you know unless it's me singing <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah so i mean like for live <laughs> that's all we that's all we do we just play. to my opinion <laughs> 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 yeah, we play like you know half half our, of our new stuff that we're writing and half mm-hmm. old stuff instrumental version um our set's like 24 minutes long or yeah. so something that's like that we find out if it sounds good live too is like or if the song sounds good how's it sound how's the song sound live yeah. you know because yeah. i also film all of, all of my videos because you're only as good as your last performance so what did i do wrong right all yeah. that stuff but also we get to hear the new stuff yeah did this sound setting. good did this hit yeah how did the crowd react to this yeah. you know Exactly. Uh, yeah, you know, usually we send things to friends. We send stuff back and forth. You know, usually if very if, collaborative. Usually, if the story is getting across to the audience, it will register in the way that you guys are making your way through the song on stage. You'll be yeah, able to yeah. actually see what the audience is doing by looking mm-hmm. at your responses to them on stage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that means go. that you're connecting, mm-hmm. and that's uh, that is something that is very difficult to know ahead of time. Yeah. Um, oh and, yeah. <clears throat> you never especially know. when you're using musical constructions that. Um, that and i don't know how you could avoid this in the modern age but when you're using musical constructions that are this highly artificial and i'm i don't mean that in any kind of derogatory way whatsoever i understand I mean what you're that, saying i completely I mean get it that yeah. you're you're using the structures of music as an artifice for these yeah. elements that you're plugging right. into place well we just took out a Hell song yeah. out of our set because it wasn't it I wasn't was, very was it wasn't translating cool. sound yeah let him finish, let yeah. Him finish. it wasn't translating you know good okay. live right so then we okay. took out a song and put in a new song cool. right you know cool. yeah yeah because don't uh, don't go crazy with you sometimes it wasn't like, connecting what will be a favorite song on the album we play it live and it's just we find out it's a little bit more of a ballad <laughs> and it doesn't have quite the same impact live right. whereas yeah. a song that's maybe less Careful, uh, musically technical will be really heavy and just get the crowd moving right? jeez <laughs> yeah. Progressive metal band, they all, what? Like, well, we smoke weed. <laughs> well, we'll smoke. We'll all smoke. Weed. How do you think we come up with these concepts? <laughs> yeah. I just get high in front of my laptop. All right, this shit's about to get real now. Yeah, yeah. thank we, you. I was I'm actually least, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Thanks. what happened to you last time. I was three joints in before you yeah. came here. I smoked two joints and then I smoked two more. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know what they say? I don't know. What do they say? Yeah. They say so lots of shit. They say? they say lots of shit we disagree with. Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now you That's talked fine. about yeah. your you talked about your opinion, Travis. Yeah. That you can have your own opinion. I Absolutely. agree. You can have yeah. a horrible opinion. But I can. I do. Here's I why it bothers me. Here's too. why it bothers me because yeah. a lot of the stuff that I love that I want to show to you, mm-hmm. I know that you're gonna like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you don't, I you, don't you, you don't feel I sent it the you same that way Tosca, I do. And you said neat. Neat. I don't. So there you go. I've we heard, have I haven't different, heard Tosca. I don't know. We what have to differing say. opinions. <laughs> well, I understood that it was really cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. It, it, you understand what I'm saying, but yeah. you can't. I don't know, man. You just you're supposed to think like me. Oh, we got, we I got, forgot. It's a dictatorship. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's just surprising to me that you you wouldn't like that type of singing. I just it, I, I never did, and it never I never caught into it. I never. It what do never you guys ruined. think of like the operatic uh, metal I vocal? It. I mean, I dig it. Yeah. Um, there's, do you uh, listen to Symphony X? I do you listen to Kill Switch Engage? I don't yeah. know much <laughs> about Symphony X. They're like Dream Theater, but heavier. Yeah. Like James LeBray, but he has some rasp behind him, some fucking balls. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you don't think James LeBray has balls? I mean, he does, but they're, Some more they're, balls. They're, 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 they're Even more <laughs> balls, Brian. And we know how much you love <laughs> balls. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me put it this way. If you go to a show, you'll see a nice cock outline, okay? <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> You're enticing I brought him. it back. You're enticing I him. I brought it back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you, some kind of pecker checker or something? <laughs> <laughs> mm, the term has been bandied about. Yeah, you fuckers are interesting. Yeah. Really? Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. 
<laughs> What's that? I said, you fuckers are interesting. I and then I was all like, kind of. That's, that's an interesting perspective that we usually hear. Uh, yeah. One of our first times working with Jake Will, our photographer, mm. um, I guess some of us can be socially awkward. And we're all in the <laughs> elevator together, just bone, like <laughs> silent. And he's like, so you're a lively bunch, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We're real party animals. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I know what it is now. Yeah, what is it? I know why it bothers me that you don't like that kind of singing. Why is that? It's because it's how I sing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you and like, so I don't like the way Brian sings. Right, so I know that whenever you're, you know, suffering through some song that I sing, you're really going. No, you see, no, really you know what though? I don't, don't identify like that, that in your singing. Saying that you sing I don't. You don't sound out of tune to me when you sing. Oh well. <laughs> Keep talking. Well, I mean, you have like, no. pitch, like, so. like when, like when. Like when Bruce Dickinson sings a pure <sighs> note, I'd say he's he's not pitchy. I mean, he's right on. Yeah. But then there's something about what the actual sort of low frequency oscillation of his pitch is that to me sounds like he goes sharp and flat. He goes too far above the note and yeah. too far below the note for the um for the the speed at which he his vibrato travels. Like I listen to that in my guitar mm-hmm. playing. Like I, I'm very cognizant of whether or not vibrato sounds good or not. Anyway, we've got a really cool uh, scene going here. The doppelganger brings their own smoke machine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like they won't make an appearance unless they have a smoke machine. No, mm-hmm. uh, I don't it's know if you guys can see that in the air, but that is definitely yeah. a smoke machine. Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> right? It's just a... I brought a fog machine. <laughs> yeah. I don't think yeah. this has ever happened on NPR. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly, it's man. Important to our We're getting ready for the laser show. <laughs> yes, yes. You want to be able to see the beams. Uh, now we're, wow. Now that we're properly prepared. Yeah. So, short, so short strap or, or long strap? Um, I kind of have, a, I guess, medium. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, like where right I... Right in the sweet spot. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a video. Because I, mean, I used, to, I used to string my Les Paul yeah. up way high, yeah. you know? And uh, in fact, we used to say that that was the... Uh, that was the, We would ask, you know, well... I'll, I have to stand up for this. Mm-hmm. I mean, is he a guitar player or is he a guitar player? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somewhere in the middle. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, that's the whole thing. I, if I had it my way, it's guitar high. It's a high, yeah. yeah. So that's much because you, you can play so much better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can Definitely. And then you find yourself, you know, like you said, compromising the lower it goes, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then do you want to look cool or do you want to play good? Yeah. Is he a virgin? Does he know how to fuck? So, like, right now, you're like, I've fucked a few times. (laughs) (laughs) I'm getting getting, getting down there, man. So that's what the notches mean on the street. It does, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It lets you lower. It lets you lower them. You draw little lines. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I asked, uh, before we did the podcast, I asked some of the uh, listeners to if they had any questions or anything that they wanted us to talk about. And for some reason, the whole talking about cereal on our podcast, <laughs> has, kind of, yeah, it comes it's like a up. huge hit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, man, more cereal talk. All right. So, okay. So well, let's talk about cereal. Well, yeah, you, you obviously... Chris had to have had like Wheaties every day, right? You're a Wheaties man, right? No, no. I actually, don't eat breakfast. I don't eat until like a cereal's not for breakfast. I, I do like intermittent fasting, so I yeah. I, we've discussed this. Yeah. Oh, you. So you're, from eight to eleven, I don't eat. Trying to lose that dad bod. Gotcha. You know? Gotcha. So and even when I like toured and I was active, like it was you know pretty strict, just trying to stay healthy. So gotcha. I'm trying to get back on then buy a you know lunch it's just like chicken and sure. shit like that oh so right. you guys are clean are you a clean well, eater they're not but that i mean i don't really eat breakfast so are you are you keto like do you avoid no, grains or no. anything okay no. by the way the person that wants us to talk about uh cereal his name is jason petty okay jason petty. And, and uh he he said he's all he's totally <laughs> cookie crisp so I, I just wanted to get that in for him all right he's cookie totally crisp yeah. is the yeah. disappointing cereal because they made it using a completely different recipe in the 80s and then huh. i i didn't eat them for years and then i was like man i want some cookie crisp and i went and got a box of it and it was a completely huh. different cereal than it was when i was a kid see my problem with cookie crisp is it's so sugary it's great i love eating cookie yeah. crisp as like a snack but if you're trying to get full off cookie crisp you have to eat a massive bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's like, not the like, point though you're not <laughs> eating <laughs> cereal is not to get full that's yeah that's i mean true. it's to get fat it's to get fat <laughs> when i did eat cereal i was eating the reese's 
Oh, oh that's the best. I'm pretty oh. sure that that is made of cancer. It's yeah. just made, yeah. yeah, yeah, straight candy. So basically, the, the, now what I had been doing was mixing with chocolate cocoa milk. puffs mm. with peanut butter, Captain Crunch, and that's how I did it as a kid. But okay. yeah, then they so, came out with Reese's, and just here you go, man. Yeah, all in one bowl, just all in one box. Take it, take yeah, right. Yeah. Man, that's just that's just gluttony at its yeah. finest. What so about you? I'd, yeah, I'd say Reese's as well. Really? Yeah, that's surprising. Yeah. That's a well, first. Dear. Yeah. Yeah. God, you guys are young. Fuck. Huh? Like I said, I don't look at <laughs> cereal as a breakfast thing. I look at it as a snack sure, or a right. treat. I yeah, mean, usually right. I want to do that at night. Yeah. You know, it, it it's dead to me during the day or in yeah. the morning. I'm like, yeah, in, until at nighttime, and it's time to watch a documentary or something, yeah, right. and then yeah. it's time for cereal. Yeah. You know? You're hungry but not wanting to make a whole meal. It's like, oh, I'll just I'll just pour a bowl of cereal. Oh. And I know too when I'm drinking that sugary ass yeah. milk at the end of it, I'm like, you fat fuck. It's like the yeah. grand yeah. finale. <laughs> it's yeah, dribbling down off my chin. So. Right. And I, I got a Crunchberry stuck to my shirt yeah. and shit. Shouldn't and my wife's like, yep. you ready to go to bed? And I'm like, yep. oh. sugar crash. <laughs> T minus 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. That's, hey, man. You Some know, sleep apnea. I've starts earned the right in. to do that, damn it. Yeah. yeah. I pay my, my own mortgage. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. when when I. I used to do that all the time at home. Mom make like chocolate chip cookies, right? And she'd she'd mix it all up with the real dough, you know, not yeah. the shit she oh, cut out of the uh, thing yeah, or yeah, like that. that. They make it homemade, right? Yeah. And then you're like, dude, can I have a bite of that? And your mom does makes a mistake of letting you taste the batter the before batter. you oh, cook the yeah. cookies. Yeah. And to me, I know it's packed full of salmonella or whatever. Yeah. Probably that's what everybody complains about. I'm it's like, bullshit. It's, got, it's because it's got a raw egg in yeah, it, and they're yeah. being whatever. fucking mm-hmm. yeah. But, but is mean, that not the best? The, dough. the is, real chocolate chip yeah. cookie yeah. dough. Yeah. And then she puts it in the oven and fucks them up. Yeah. To me, kind of yeah. to me. Yeah. Cookie sure. dough is way better. Than so cookies. I was like, dude, huh. if I Thank could you. have my own whole bowl of cookie dough, oh, I've done it. And would you believe it? They make it and they, they put it in a store. cookie dough. Right, right. Well, yes. not even that. They yeah. make the the shit you ain't supposed to eat raw. Yeah. And they put that in a tub. Yeah. And they put it, you know, I, I can get that now. Yeah. So the day, I ain't shitting you, the first apartment I ever got when I moved out, because my mom would never let me do that. She's like, you're not going to eat all that dough. <laughs> you can have one spoonful of it. I was like, mom, seriously, make two batches. Two one batches. for me that's raw, one that you cook for everybody else, because I want the raw dough. Totally. Right? Yep. Because I'm not, I'm not silly. So... <laughs> First thing I did when I moved out was I, I, I threw my shoes into the middle of the floor and left them, and then I went and got uh, cookie dough and sat with a gallon of milk and a spoon and ate it out of the tub. Yes. Uh, and I even called my mom and said, guess what I'm doing right now? Yeah. And she's like, what? I said, first of all, my shoes are in the middle of the floor, and I'm eating raw cookie dough <laughs> right now, and you can't stop me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. I'm eating, I'm eating full-size tablespoons of Nestle Quick Powder and oh. washing it, and washing oh, it down with Mrs. Butterworth's. Yeah. Oh, See, that's the type of people oh, end up no. in prison. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That is. That's illegal. That you don't do that's weird just stuff. illegal in Europe, man. You know. You know. No. All right, you go to Canada. After I that. know you. <laughs> What's up? I, well, I know the world that you live in. You live around this, uh, this, uh, this uh, marijuana. I do. <laughs> so, I, I mean, know that when you walk through your kitchen, you're thinking about the food. This like beckoning you, right? Yeah, I mean, most of the time. Yeah, I, mean, so, I, I am. I'm a sucker for fast food though, and it's terrible. It's a, it's a struggle. It's a so, what's your go-to? Yeah. Like, if you're gonna throw down, if you're like, okay, I, I get to eat whatever I want right now, and I'm in the mood. Let's start with restaurant. Which restaurant? Yeah, what are you throwing down on? Oh God, I don't know. Off the Come top on, dude. Of my head, are we man. talking Taco Bell? Are you I mean, Taco uh, John? We're talking fast Bell? food. I'm go to Taco Bell probably. Taco yeah. Bell. Taco yeah. Bell. Really over like steak and shake. I mean, God, steak and shake's up there too. Steak and shake is cheap, dude. <laughs> you make it is fresh, man. Nutella it's milkshake though. Ooh. You haven't lived life. Until the Nutella. Those, yeah. So. yeah. I'm not even that big of a Nutella fan. He is good. But I had one of those Nutella milkshakes. I haven't tried yeah. that. I yet. went back a good six yeah. times. Yeah. No kidding. See, I like Nutella. I'm fan of those little gold Ferrero Rocher. Well, you young little fuckers, you still have a metabolism. Yeah. You know what I mean. I remember that shit because I was what 120 pounds, right. six yeah. foot three skinny. I'm not, you know, I'm not getting fat. No, I didn't. Yeah. Getting fat was something I was trying to do. I was trying yeah. to gain weight. I yeah. was trying to be bigger because everybody's like, "Look at Brian's skinny ass <laughs> legs." <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "I got to gain some weight." So the best way to do that is Tombstones. Yeah, and uh, Rudy's Tacos. Not and, a really, in Rudy's. retrospect, not a particularly good name for Rudy's. A, is uh, good, but it's so Tombstone. Expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why the cereal thing worked out so well, and thanks Jason Petty for the for the comment, but. The reason that works out so well is because no, but no grown men will admit that they fucking love Captain Crunch. It's just not right. something that sure. you want to talk about. You won't, yeah. sh- you know, it's kind of a hidden thing. Yeah. Well, th- you know, speaking to that point, I saw an old commercial for 
uh, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes of Corn. Pull it up, okay. Dan. Okay. So, an- <laughs> so Antonio, Antonio, the, Antonio the Tiger. But the whole premise of it is you've got all these people that are backlit, so all you can see is their silhouette, and you see a first name and a last initial, and it's adults talking about how much they fucking really love it. And, oh my god. There you go. We had we had neighbors come over, and the box was on the table, and we don't even have children. <laughs> so I think you're right, Brian. Yeah. I think you. you, you it's you, kind of a. It, it makes something. you a lesser right. man. To yeah. eat something with some sort of cartoon character yeah, on it, yeah, and yeah. Yeah. and sure, you know. something marketed towards children. Yeah, right. But is it really I'll though? Admit it. I will oh, never. Man. I can yeah. never admit it. I just yeah. had a realization of Lucky Charms. Oh, oh yeah, Lucky Charms with those marshmallows amazing. in there. See, yeah, yeah, yeah those dude. got me when I was a kid. That's yeah. for sure. They, 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 yeah. admit it, let's out. let's all yeah. just admit it right now. You I, love it now. I haven't eaten them recently, but I would definitely go for a bowl of of. What's the last kind of cereal you ate, and when was it? Um, I had Honey Nut Cheerios probably yes. like yeah. two days ago. Them or pot? That's a pot uh, cereal yeah. too. I will, yeah. sure. I will eat the fuck out of those, dude. <laughs> yeah, I really. They're enjoy good. Those. Yeah. yeah, I like them good. too. Yeah, man. But you I like, can't really go wrong though. See, no. I even like some of the not sweet cereals now. Like, sure. I mean, yeah. they almost taste sweet to me after I start to eat them, like Chex and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Fucking okay. down it, dude. Wheaties. Yeah. I'll eat Wheaties. I'll eat, Wheaties. I'll eat regular flakes too. I gotta put a lot of sugar on them. Yeah. But what about Special K? You ever eat that shit? Sure, I'll put some sugar on that or what? I'll tear it up. I don't care. I'll hit it with a half gallon of agave <laughs> nectar. Fuck it. No, I have had some cereals that sucked. I mean, yeah. the kids saw it at the store and they're like, we got to try that. And sure, I'm yeah. thinking, yeah. oh, that could be interesting. You know, yeah. let's check this out. You know, anything that's blueberry waffle yeah. sucks. Wrong. You know what I mean? yeah. Wrong. No. Yes. Yeah, yeah, artificial so waffle flavor. Weird. Totally, yeah. man. It just doesn't work. They also no, had yeah. powdered donut cereal, All which right. was just great. It was like eating a bowl of fucking powdered donuts. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> you guys are weird enough. Out. I, I feel like we've weirded you out a little bit. Ah, <laughs> oh, cheese oh, talk again. <laughs> yes. I right. know, oh, Jesus. Okay, so you guys, uh, you, you have any shows coming up Praise soon Jesus. in the in the? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, next week. Uh, next week we're playing Iowa City with uh, Angel Vivaldi and Nita Strauss. Um, oh, Nita Strauss is doing that tour now. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. she's just put out a solo record, and yeah, she's hitting uh, Iowa City uh, Wednesday, uh, November twenty eighth. And we have tickets for sale. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Is that how it works? At the you got it, it's like pay to play. Yeah. yeah. Essentially, we're selling tickets and uh, mm-hmm. getting getting those out there. Have you sold a bunch? We've sold a decent amount. Uh, we've still got plenty left if people need any. So. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. this is our first show where like the Angel's other bands instrumental are also band. instrumental. Nina's yes. right. doing okay. her instrumental thing. Cool. Jackie Vincent's doing his instrumental thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, we're, we're the only other local instrument for once. We're playing. actually fitting yeah. for the show. Weird. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> like we had to typically win people over, and now yeah. we're in our market. You guys are all great players. You know what I mean? Like Thank I said, you, man. when you guys finally realize that you need me to be your singer, let me know. <laughs> but uh, I could tell the story. There you go. I yeah. could tell the story for it. Yeah. What are you looking at me for? I'm fucking this is my big break. Man, I'm trying to get <laughs> I'm trying to get in doppelganger over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to relive those days of yeah. glory. Yeah, I think we got something going here, man. Yeah, yeah, you know? dude. We gotta don't fuck it up. Don't cock block me, Travis. <laughs> and, I mean, look <laughs> at me. You don't think right, that I right. couldn't like yeah. I, mean, I could it's lose a few pounds maybe, yeah. but or gain a few. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going for that. Well, I mean whatever's gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, no, because that's what I do is I listen to <laughs> I listen to songs that are instrumentals. <laughs> what did you say I look like? Damn. Meatloaf? I, I didn't say you look put like meatloaf. Meatloaf. No, you said, said like put a little a, meatloaf on the plate. I'm, yeah. I'm going to put a rule down right now <laughs> on Minor Disturbance Radio. If you ever come on my show and say the word fucking meatloaf, boy. <laughs> The food or the artist? <laughs> oh. What's the difference? Okay, okay, okay. Uh. My uh, my my guitar player in one of my old '80s bands, the '80s tribute bands that I played in, he used to send me these Photoshop pictures of me <laughs> on Meatloaf's body. Oh my god! Right? <laughs> and he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah." Jesus. You know, and fuck with me like whoever that. you are, please send us. Yeah, we need to see these. <laughs> please, <laughs> they're hilarious. I Even put, are do you on the anything for tacos? <laughs> now, are you on the cover of Bad Out of Hell or whatever? Yeah, yeah. whatever. Just Friday. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, I, it used to be people were like Glenn Danzig, man. Yeah, and I'm like, all right, I can live with that, yeah, even yeah, though he's yeah. a midget. Yeah, I'm but a uh, and then it was Peter Steele. Danzig, for a Peter Steele. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. That's Type a good negative piece, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that that could live with. Yeah, meatloaf. <laughs> you make me want to start my car in the garage and take a fucking nap. Fucking. Bass players. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't right. get the. I don't get yeah. the. Who, 
I don't get the Peter Steele <laughs> I'm, thing. I'm already quitting the band, okay? Yeah. I just want to yeah. put it in my notice right now. I know that we That's had some good times. Yeah, right. We had some good times with me as your front man, but you know what? I think this is over. I can't get along with your bass player. Yeah, the differences. You should replace the bass player. Everybody replaces the bass player. You got to do it. Yeah. Essentially the hype man of the group. Pretty much, dude. Exactly. Very little known fact. Back on the guitar player. I sang for Doppelganger for like five minutes. There he is, man. I never yeah. actually got to sing with him. But couldn't get along with the bass player. Rhythm section was weird. That was it. <laughs> yeah. He was in, he was out. Yep. Right. Yeah. Well, Had to move do. on, man. Little thing. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can tell so your fans that if you want. I mean, if you want mm-hmm. the we, uh, extra hate. Yeah. Brian Miner used to <laughs> sing for us. Yeah. yeah, you say you say that name and people are like, Yeah, I don't I already don't like it. <laughs> uh, although, you know, that was another question I was gonna ask is why the name Doppelganger? What is that word? Why so it? it's a good one. Uh the original word is German for like a lot of times it's used as someone who looks like you. Like if you're walking down the street, um, a story I had the, f- the one time I've seen my doppelganger, I was uh, in college at the time walking home from classes mm. and I, w- I walked past this guy and I recognized his face, but I didn't realize afterwards that I was like, he looks like me. Yeah. Like I recognized myself and him. Right. Fun fact, he compl- complimented my jacket, so that was cool. <laughs> um, but anyway, doppelgangers a lot of times like if you're going mythical with it sometimes people view it as like your evil half or uh sometimes like your shadow following you is your doppelganger mm-hmm. um it's kind of interesting. yeah there's a yeah. lot of lore behind it that you can really go into sure. the so word's wh- kind of disgusting to pronounce but the meaning's cool sure so i mean why did you choose that word <laughs> i mean it was you just thought it sounded badass yeah yeah conceptually <laughs> yeah you <laughs> can say that okay okay so it was sort of an intellectual there's nothing choice. deep behind it really no okay no. i just wanted it to fit a little better than like you know iron tiger <laughs> yeah right <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like, Brian's always got such great band names. All right, I have now. a great idea. If, <laughs> well, see, because most of my band names have to do with like 80s tribute bands, okay? Yeah. So, you know, I've already thought of like Cocked and Loaded, and that became Cocked something. And loaded. <laughs> like, God. okay, ho- no, I got hilarious. more. Yeah. Like, Span Dex, like Spanned with an X at the yeah. end, you know, like yeah. Span Dex. X, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's well, good. Well, Dive Bomb is what I named my band. Dive so Bomb, that, yeah. That was yeah. fun. But there's so many of them, man. That's such you a could... good Floyd Rose reference. reference oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and my wife was, I said, I'm going to call my uh, the tribute band Dive Bomb. And she goes, um, because she don't know to dive bomb it, right? Exactly. Yeah. And I and she said, "Oh, you're just gonna say it's gonna nose dive immediately." Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like negative, it. isn't yeah, it? You I don't mean, you would predict it. Don't name your band yeah. failure. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's one of my favorite like, bands. Is so, yeah. but she didn't get. It. I was like, "No, man, we're gonna be playing dive bars, right? Yeah, right and the dive bomb is a very known '80s thing to do. Get it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. She was like, "No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you're stupid, Brian. Cut your hair. Nobody understands exactly. She'd hate it if I did that. Well, I'm glad that you guys came on the podcast." Podcast. I'm going to try to get this thing, uh, make some sense of it, yeah, sure. pick, pick yeah. some of the best spots of it. because cobble this shit together like some sure. of Santa's elves. <laughs> That's where the work begins. <laughs> yeah. But you know, what's crazy is uh, Chris over here is just starting to come out of his shell. Oh, that is yeah. a bummer, man. Yeah. It's starting he, to happen, and now we got to shut it Look yeah. at that look on his yep, face. He knows, dude. He's, yeah. he's having fun now. Yeah. We're recording this podcast uh, the day before Thanksgiving. Fuck yep. yeah, we are. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know. I'm having fun with this. I worked all week, and I just wanted to get to this to where we can have some some yep. time and hang we did out. Our radio, with, we did with, our radio show last mm-hmm. night instead of tonight, which yeah. opened up a little time. So. We get to hang out with Doppelganger. Uh, be honest with you, the thing that attracted me to the band immediately was obviously the musicianship. Thank you. And when I, I saw the pl- the drum playthrough, I was yeah. like, I got to have these guys yeah. on Thank uh, you so much. MDR. Yeah, you lot, man. Chris you. is cock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm primary. still going to show you after you're this, the, You're the phallus of reality at this <laughs> oh point. The, the primary attractor. But tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and what is it that you're looking forward to? I mean, what's the first thing you're going to rip apart when you get there? Oh, 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 oh here it comes, here comes. Stuffing. The yeah. stuffing? Yeah, I love stuffing. Up until about a year ago, stuffing I Stuffing is fucking stuffing. gross. What? Stuffing oh, is fucking disgusting. That, that hurts. That yeah, hurts me to the core. Weirdos. Put a little, put a little, yeah. put a little fucking, yeah. little fucking <laughs> gravy on it, dude. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's everything you could possibly oh, want. I love it, dude. Yeah, that's what mashed potatoes, potatoes are for. I, I viewed stuffing I was as gonna an say, exclusive mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, yeah. potatoes are amazing, That's too. my go-to. I, I could love, eat those endlessly. Yeah. yeah. But with that's gravy, true. right? I mean, I can go with or without, honestly. Really? So I could throw it down that way, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Plenty plenty of butter, though. It's just got to be like half fat. That's the fucking... That's how it has to be done, man. Uh, what about so, you? What about go you? ahead. Are we talking about what we're stoked to eat or what we're stoked S- for? Stoked to eat. Are Fucking gonna- cranberry sauce, man. Oh, oh. what? Now, are and we talking about like real cranberry sauce? Are we talking about the shit from the can where you cut it out and you can't tell real if it's a shit. fucking pickled beet? 
in or fucking, a fucking in a <laughs> smoked fucking turkey in that skin oh. in the stuffing that oh. was yeah, cooked inside. Inside the bird. You just Jesus you know, rub it all over your chest. And burn, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's why you're not invited to Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Every he doesn't get to come Chris, anymore. That's true. I do eat alone. <laughs> I have really never. Yeah. Eat alone. I've never gone to your place on Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, that is amazing. And I never will. <laughs> <laughs> Cranberry sauce? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not the biggest fan of that. I like it. You it's need good. that little it's bit of bitter. My favorite. Though. I like yeah. that bitter in there. Yeah. Now uh, I also I, like. It's, uh, it's usually like still the same. Casserole. It's still like the same shape as the can you know yeah absolutely it's, like, it's got the ridges in it yeah. Yeah. ribbed That's for uh, her pleasure <laughs> <laughs> see because uh, every other year we have to trade between my side of the family for thanksgiving and yeah. uh, going to my wife's side of the family <clears throat> and there's my favorites on both you know what i yeah, mean yeah i made <laughs> my ties i don't know if you guys have ever had yeah. my ties. I haven't. seriously it's one of those drinks that chicks will drink it and they will be fucking hammered in okay. almost no time because yeah. there's so much rum in it and they're delicious, right. man. And there's something there's something about the combinations of, of, of the combination of the ingredients in it that I haven't ever really had a super bad hangover on it. Hmm, which really, I'm yeah. a little bit prone to hangover. Interesting. And, and I can't even drink beer anymore because of that. It's no just, shit. Like the next day, I just feel like shit. Feel after, like fucking shit. After beer. I have to yeah. drink like brandy, and I have to get fucked up. I, I mean, yeah. if I'm gonna drink, yeah. I'm gonna like drink. You know, yeah. make an yeah. occasion of it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I don't. Or, I don't want to remember most of it. Yeah. Yeah. No, see, you didn't remember. You said last week we had Jose on. That's not true. Last week we had uh, Ron O'Toole. Oh, and well, Ron, that was a radio show. Though. Yeah, it was a radio show, but uh, it was. I mean, we got shit hammered that night. We were it was, up. man. I had to stay. Sometimes you I can, stay away after school in order to sober up before I try to fucking drive home. Yeah. Because that radio that, show, dude, when, as I listened to it, off the rails. Even my wife was like, "You could, you get progressively more drunk as yeah. the show is going on." Yeah. I mean, I started out like. Minor service radio on 97X. I'm Brian Minor and blah, 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 blah. And then right. pretty soon I'm like, yeah, man, who is totally that? What? <laughs> and you can hear like bottles clank, clank, <laughs> falling all over the table. God. <laughs> Look, you guys spilled like nine times, <laughs> man. Oh, shit. Kept spilling. Oh, like, God. you know, don't get this high center of gravity <laughs> shit. You know, get this good get wide base, base fucking. Yeah. In fact, if you can get one that cones the other direction, that's even better. <laughs> or your fucking uh, <laughs> terrible yeah. coordination at this point. That happens. Watch you guys gesture and knocking over bottles of brandy and fucking it was bad man yeah. beers we party too much we did party a little too much that right. time last good. week yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the way you, she goes bud yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, hey. you know you gotta take the good with the good that's the way I look at it since we're all connoisseurs yeah do you guys smoke before you eat or do you try to like keep it low key and wait till after you eat oh. I try to be like oh I gotta run to the gas station real quick and get yeah. it in before I eat <laughs> right, and dude. then I'm like hey what's up guys this I don't is know, fucking man. great sometimes <laughs> if I'm on the if I'm if I'm on the you know the upward climb you know if we're fucking riding up the roller coaster click right. click 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 you know uh Eating just seems really stupid to me at that point. I'm just like, oh, this is Too just much dumb. Work. Sure. Yeah. It's yeah. just dumb. There's Who nothing good that can come gotta, of it. I it's just pick terrible. Up. I don't like this thing. It's too intense. And God, yeah. You guys are nuts. I get yeah. like fucking active. I'm like, like let's do. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I, it's me know. too. I'm like, let's fucking do <laughs> let's shit. Do shit. Let's yeah. fucking That's go. what I am too, yeah. man. Me too. Let's that's practice. That's got to be a drummer thing, man. That's got to be a drummer thing. Yeah, let's get up and go. Absolutely. It's all about. I've gotten high with a drummer before in a past band. I don't like to name names. Yeah. Because for some reason there's still people on the planet that think that smoking weed is somehow like makes you a bad person right, you know? oh, yeah, <laughs> and, right. and i'm like yeah. oh god stop it with that well, shit some know? of them yeah. are called the state of iowa and but they don't care I'm but they summer. don't care if you go it, here's what i understand they don't people don't care that it, if you come to work monday being like man i got drunk i got all so fucked up the other day i was drunk man. i was drunk I party dude, dude i drove so all over yeah. i drove all over <laughs> man i drove and through fucking school i can't zone, believe dude. i made it home man i was fucking yeah. shit right. i drove through that school zone too <laughs> yeah. man the fucking cop didn't get me <laughs> yeah. fucking yeah bro <laughs> right yeah well yeah, okay well get to your station i love a little weed you piece you're fired no you're fired no you're fired yeah you're fired that's what i was getting at yeah i drank all weekend i I hate coming to work Monday after a hangover like that. Yeah, but it, you know that's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's as soon <laughs> yes. as you, as soon as yeah. you pee and it shows that you uh, maybe fucking decided to uh, watch a season of whatever show yeah. that you love and right, eat yeah. some Twinkies and smoke a little weed and enjoy yourself and relax. Right. Something that's going to wear off and you're going to feel yeah. totally normal afterwards. Yeah, right. Uh, and it really doesn't even take you out of your mind. Here's the interesting wow. interesting thing about weed is if you had to, you can fucking fight through it. 
Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? If if something happened that you had to be right, you mm-hmm. can like, splash some water in your face, yep. like kind of get back to it. Absolutely. Yeah. You if might, you're might, drunk, man, you, you find are, a better solution. You're gone. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're just you're gone. Right. You're yeah. gone. Yeah. There's no coming yeah. back. Yeah. No. Yeah. About the only thing that I find that I from the fight through it standpoint that I cannot do when I'm high is multitask. Sure. I can I can see I that. can unitask like a fucking <laughs> yeah. bastard. Like I, I mean, mean like so totally open to the entire structure, you know, like I can get it, but like if I have to try to manage multiple things at once, that's a bummer, man. Right. No, well, I, I you know, we should I should say, you know, you shouldn't let it take over your life. You shouldn't yeah. let it do all that stuff like Yeah, right. You know, if you have your shit together, like who fucking cares? Yeah. Absolutely. You know. I, if you're getting your shit done. Yeah. I'd rather talk to somebody that's stoned than drunk. Exactly. Oh, yeah. exactly. For sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, dude, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Were you yeah. there that day? Yeah. Yeah. Just yelling the same thing at you. My cousin room. plays oh, guitar. Yeah. He's yeah. really good, man. That's the fucking worst. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, my cousin plays fucking rock guitar. You play rock guitar? You play the electric rock guitar? Do you play the rock guitar? <laughs> the, electric the electric rock, rock, guitar. rock guitar? You play yeah. that you electric rock guitar? Hey, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's cool, man. And then you, t- you got a fucking problem. Like, what the f- Yeah. Yeah. No, God. yeah, no, I don't. Mm-hmm. Not at all. I'm pretty sure. I'll tell you what. I've never experienced that with a high person. People, no, no, me either. never. Yeah, here's a fight between two people that are. High. Hey, buddy. Hey. All right. Eat my yeah. Cheetos. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, Can you not shit. do that again? Those are mine, man. What's Spot better those. than like some decent <laughs> snacks? Yeah. Some good weed and Netflix. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Documentaries yeah. or whatever. And you're like, you hear the yeah. shit? They yeah. fucking didn't land on the moon, baby. This is what you know. <laughs> what about putting on a fucking record and just. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that's a great years. one, dude. Absolutely. See now, from front to s- Front to back. Yeah. Yeah. Front to center. Front to yeah. center. Yeah. <laughs> front to center, dude. He, lis- he apparently listens on a 5.1 fucking yeah. system. <laughs> I don't listen front to right anything to on the second half of the record. Exactly, that dude. That's not from me. Yeah. I, yeah. All the good I pan stuff everything to the rear left Everybody surround channel. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. See, you, did you have that shit? What? The 5.1, the whole thing? Yeah, I mean, I do have it. Okay. I See, do have I'm it. still like in the 80s. I remember the I'm first a, but time. But I've I, also got a regular. Somebody went to their stereo and they went, oh, check this out. And they're like, it's just like this part, of, like the guitar player and this speaker, right? And it's just the bass player and that right, speaker. Yeah. And I'm like, That's what kind of voodoo is this shit, yeah. man? How did you do that? Yeah. Like, it's five point one. And I'm like, right. what is that? I could not wrap my head around that. Now there's not yeah. just left, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's you all got, these other things you got going front on. Back, Everything and in you between. Got seven. That's five point one. And there's unfortunately, also 7.1, and now there's Aquos, which is God. and, un- and it goes in, un- yeah. goes in deep. Yeah. yeah, right. Now, at the end of the 70s, they had something called quadraphonic, which was an analog form of uh, surround sound. And I've got a quadraphonic huh. receiver. I have, I have yet sweet. to hook up for uh, speakers, but it used a similar kind of process where it had a, it had a code that was outside of the range of human hearing. It was somewhere around 40 kilohertz, which we can only hear to about 20. And, and uh, uh, in that 40 kilohertz range, there was information about where to send what amount of information from the left and right channels to a rear left and a rear right channel. Oh. So then you could actually get shit to swirl around you. And there were a number of albums at the end of the 70s, great albums that were done in quadraphonic. You know, but I can hear right. that in left and right sometimes. Sometimes I you can. can. I can yeah. kind of feel something that it makes it seem like can. it's behind you. Yeah. You yeah. absolutely can. Oh, yeah. 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 There, is, there are ways to create the perception of surround using two channels. Yeah. And uh, it, it has something to do with something like this, Brian. That let's say, let's say you pan something hard left Left, right if it's all the way left but still in front of your ears it'll sound like it's full range but now let's say you pan it just slightly back in but then as it pans in you make it sound more muffled and slightly delayed what you've done is you've tricked your ears into thinking something has appeared behind them because that's how your brain deciphers that information as being behind you hmm. slightly delayed Interesting. slightly <laughs> muffled does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I that's guess how so. it works. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, so I thought I saw, heard some shit behind me when I was listening to it. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, Travis probably knows about this. That's, I'll I'm ask like, him. That's cool, man. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, because I can't. <clears throat> the then I had some cereal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I used to go to, I used to go to bed every night listening to uh, Dream Theater. Sure. Uh, 6 a.m. Like, yeah. <laughs> that whole record like front to back and just sleep to it you know <laughs> so that whole i have that shit just like memorized right. right absolutely i'm just waiting for i wish there was a situation where i could find a way to like sing with a band that could play all the dream oh, theater songs yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. 
Yeah. I think that's I why know. I brought you here. That's guys. what this has God. been all about this entire time. I know. That I, ask I know right what's there. happening. He's been <clears throat> asking. Damn, we're gonna have to learn. A whole well, we do these. Th- we do these things <laughs> sometimes. Do it? Fuck, it'll take it. a while to learn. <laughs> I don't want so to. Long. <laughs> long. Those are some long songs just yeah. to learn one. Well, no, yeah, pretty much, man. Change the seasons. It's twenty minutes long. Jeez, yeah, that's doable. Yeah, that's doable. <laughs> that's a lot of guitar. Yeah, God, it is. Is. you don't already know it. I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'd probably figure it out if you gave him twenty minutes. Yeah, <laughs> twenty minutes. Figure it yeah. out in ten. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. You figure out a twenty-minute song in ten minutes, yeah, man. Yeah, I listen it. to it on fast motion. Exactly. Transpose it down an octave. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing is we do the MDR, <clears throat> we do the All Star Jam sometimes, mm. and I know right now that uh, I'm gonna try to be getting this Chris Dietz to yeah. be at least in it, yeah. play drums. But the thing is, you got to we'll, play. We'll do negotiations. Right. No, you got to play like '80s metal though. I can do that. And there you go. Like three or four songs with dudes you've never played with. Done. There you go. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> that it is and I should cool. get you too you, I mean sure. yeah. can you play yeah. regular songs yeah whatever <laughs> <laughs> I got you I, I asked somebody got here I said, can, can you go. play human yeah. can you play a normal guitar <laughs> you mean, will be allowed to come play <laughs> 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 uh, oh gosh I think we got three hours in now. yeah cool man I told you that that shit happens really fast was it like 10? It's like midnight. Oh. No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> It's 10. It's 10. We're past my bedtime, guys. Yeah. Right, right, right. He's got to get up early and practice but again. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. You're, you're, uh, the song that you gave me, uh, Worst Case, yeah, you go. Ontario. Uh-huh. That song is going in my playlist of songs that I actually like to listen to. I was listening Hell to yeah, it uh, over and over and over today as I was getting the studio ready. Thank yeah. you, man. And, dude, there, there's a lot of cool stuff in that. I appreciate that. And it's enjoyable to listen to. And it's it's a different beast because it yeah. is all instrumental. Well, I like Doppelganger. Thank you. You heard of them? <laughs> Thanks so much. I heard yeah. Brian Meyer was singing. <laughs> yeah. For five minutes. Yeah. Uh, but he quit. He's too, good for, yeah. He's too good for that. He's currently being interviewed by <laughs> Eric Singer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's exactly two minutes longer than I was in Lynn Allen. Hey. Hey, so, you did great. Well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for coming uh, and doing MDR. Yeah, thanks Absolutely. again for having us. We have a thanks good time. For, thanks yeah. for coming all over the place. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. <laughs> Our pleasure. Well, cool, man. Yeah, well, thanks for doing this, guys. Thanks for coming. Dude, um, thank thanks for you. having us. Oh, dude, like, this was blast. awesome. Yeah. I, 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 I'll admit, I was a little nervous. I thought, oh, this dude like hates me coming in here. Cause, well, <laughs> I do hate you. I said, thank you. Well, you see, hate, that, you hate me in the most acceptable way to me. That, that is possible. Let me then, explain so. how that happened, yeah. though. On I that podcast, I think it's it fun. was hilarious. And you're cool for thinking. <laughs> it was fun. You're yeah. cool for thinking that. Yeah. But it really didn't come across that way. Yes, we, it did. No, yes, no, 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 it no, did. No, the editing no, did. No, the editing The editing, editing was so fucking it, funny. It was, dude. dude. Right after the video. We were all smoking. We saw that. We're just like, what <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> and then in my head, I'm thinking, gonna I'm going to fucking kill this guy. But unfortunately, that's not how it really happened. this man. What you heard leading up to the video and the last thing said... Yeah, before yeah, the video, <laughs> the very next thing he said before right. even talking about doppelganger, yeah. Yeah. he started saying that. Yeah. So I just put the video in, and then it seemed when it ended, and then you were like, you know, I don't know, you know, it's it's how it is that um, uh, how. I, I, I know what my verbatim shit was because I was like, I want to study it. Like, to, to, did I say it correctly? I think I did. I said, yeah. I have the suspicion mm-hmm. that if you are too good at playing your instrument, there is a possibility right. that you don't know how to fuck. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. But that was right after Chris they, Dietz right I here. Think, got, I think did Brian's the drum just video. trying to set you up. <laughs> he was. Dude. He's pissed that, about the James the Break that's thing. That's what it is, man. And he's, he's like, I'm going to get this motherfucker. Some retaliation. I know Chris has a deep dark soul yeah. <laughs> he's gonna hate this motherfucker yep, he yeah. loves stuffing he's gonna smear it all over his <laughs> yeah I brought the stuffing <laughs> oh my god put it in the bird you see what happened here see what happened here <laughs> get the car ready <laughs> hey man go go check out Doppelganger go give him a like on Facebook uh, go watch that drum through video or, or and all the, the playthroughs that you do cause yep. I see that stuff trust no. me I see what you do too cool, man. And he I'm fucking just like, shreds it's all I can't even understand it I'm like what the hell these kids do and i'm gonna act like i don't see that shit because you know it's like are they from around here because at first i was like them dudes are from here mm-hmm. yeah and it's crazy because there's a lot of talent uh well thank you, you know and i thought i was cool when i was younger right because no, i we could we're not I we're could, not cool i could tap and do it's our okay. we're, we're, and not stuff. Cool yeah. we're not cool yeah i want to see you guys live now because i'll have a oh, yeah. whole a totally different it'll change your life 
<laughs> it will? <laughs> we guarantee. Yeah. Or your money back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> your money was probably like five bucks. Yeah, so right, it's exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. A cheap, it's a cheap bet you can yeah. make with your audience. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, suck. Here you go. Here's your five bucks. That's fine, man. I'll five buy bucks. you a beer, man. No, he's going to track us down after <laughs> exactly. the show. Anyway. Sorry we tricked you. <laughs> so yeah. why don't we just give them tickets to the show next week? Right? There you go. I can't go to any shows, man. And plus, December 1st. So here's this motherfucker telling yeah. us. No, 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 no. See us and he's like, I have to pick shows. I'm going December 1st to see a yeah. bunch of bands at Rascals. And yeah, okay. There you go. I'm going. Is that when you guys are playing? No, no, no it's, oh, it's uh, this what, November 28th. It's the exact date. Is it this month? Like, yeah, it's next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. No, <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, next that's what. Wednesday. That's when we record our radio shows. Oh, oh there you gotcha. go. Sure. Yeah. We, you should do your gig on our show. There, there you go. go. We'll bring Needle down, down here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll, is this the longest podcast you've had? This is no. Long. No, no, okay. no. We no. Are, we're idiots. This isn't even the most tangential and meandering <laughs> podcast we've ever had. I can't believe that. <laughs> what's, your, what, yeah, what's the record for... Uh, uh, numbers of forks in conversation. <laughs> I, know, I, I guess don't know, like how man. Long, Somewhere, longest podcast. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll see you guys next time. Let's do another one in a couple weeks. Yeah, peace. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs>